Good morning. Good morning. Welcome into halftime Tuesday. Phil Elson, Matt Jones, the C unit, Christian Johnston producing all together again for the first time this week. Good to be in the studios with you today. What a uh, performance by UConn. Never, uh, never felt like it was in doubt. You had a really entertaining first half, and they just kind of put it away in the second half. Another, well, I mean, 15 points. You can put that in blowout territory. Another team that was outclassed. A big guy that was able to put together a big game in Zach Eady, but nobody else could for Purdue. And uh, unquestioned, we have kings of college basketball once again. Two years in a row. Different team. Maybe the best coach in the sport, too, right now. Matt, is there anybody any better right now than Dan Hurley? If we're in a world where what have you done for me lately? <laughs> Dan, Hur- Dan Hurley's done more than most of the last two years. Yeah, he's got it going on. Uh, that that was cool uh, having Bobby Hurley, Arizona State guy, um, before before the game and, and, and listening to him talk. Uh, just a master class of defense. That's, that's the thing. UConn. You're you're so right, right, Phil. UConn's defense is they they buckle down and then they're so unselfish on the offensive end. It's uh it really is. It's pass the ball and get somebody open and then Klingon did enough. Say what you want, you know. Uh, Zach Eady, thirty seven points, ten rebounds, but man, it just seemed like Klingon was was kind of frustrating him a little bit, just making him work for it. That was a hard thirty seven points and then no other help. I thought Jones, their their other guard, they have. Uh, Lance Jones, the transfer. Uh, I didn't understand. I get it. You know, you you had a couple fouls early, and coach takes them out. But man, I got to ride with you, and and you got to not foul out. But he 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 ended up playing twenty three minutes. I thought he needed to play closer to forty. You know, he had to be out there. Uh, foul trouble didn't play. Purdue's just not that deep. Um, kind of what I expected. I thought UConn would win going away. It's kind of what a lot of people expected, honestly, when the tournament started. Maybe not with the final opponent would be but at least it would be standing in the end and that it wouldn't really even be very close talk about coachable man how awesome was it to watch UConn run Purdue off the three-point line Purdue's the second leading three-point I think we had a couple couple callers or listeners they text in and talk about how three-point shooting is the best that was the difference between them UConn last year ran and this year. them off the three-point line did made them a, one of seven was Purdue just to take seven threes in a college game in this day and age tells you just how difficult it was to get anybody open on that line there they ran them off I mean it was it was uh that was a master class in how to defend the three-point line which you got to have talent and then their offense man their their little double screen they do and then they're it's like a you can cut either way based on what the defender does is wrong and and man they just kept running it and running it and it was every time they wanted to run that set they would just go they would it was like they had it's like they had been running it all year you know they were they were fun to watch Man, it just feels shocking that in today's day and age, we have seen repeat champions in, in, the, in the two most major sports over the last three years. Seeing Georgia win back-to-back national titles in football uh, and, and now seeing the same in, in college basketball. And, I mean, it's, <laughs> UConn's much different this year than they were last year. Um, and they're the best program. That, that, that is the best basketball program in the country. Men's and women's too. When you look at it, that's really shocking. I know it's been a while since the women's a, team won a won a won a national title, final four this year though. I'd I'd, I'd uh, it would have been a better game, South Carolina versus UConn, if that would have went down. It's just the 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 performance Caitlin Clark put on to get them there. You're right, UConn. If you're just going by that way, that's the best basketball program in the country. Six national championships since 1999. And it's, it's, it's funny, I heard Greeny talking about this. When, when you think of the idea of a blue blood, and who cares about the idea of blue blood? It's a matter of uh, continuity, you know, like you remember, you remember when Dean Smith left North Carolina and the Roy pomp Williams, and the circumstance yeah. that was around that, around bringing in his assistant, it was Bill Guthrie, mm-hmm. who took over then. How long did he go for? Oh, I think it was just two or three years. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forget the name of the, the, the former Carolina Tar Heel that coached after that. Matt Doherty was. Yeah, it was. Okay. There was Cleveland the same Cavs. kind of a thing. Same kind of a thing there. It was just, the, the, it's, it, it's almost like, the, like a lineage, like a royal family lineage. That's how you felt when Coach K you know, leaves 
Duke and John Shire and Shire comes on. I mean, that's like passing it on from the lineage. You thought even him or Dan Hurley, Bobby Hurley, you thought somebody like Bobby Hurley would have been a guy. You, you Dan thought, Hurley doesn't have anything to do with UConn well, other Bobby, than taking Bob, over the coach. Well, Bobby Hurley, coach. yeah, Duke, yeah. Right, right. You thought Bobby Hurley would have been that's a guy that I, takes over yeah. over there, the last name. But he's created his own thing over there. I mean, it is separate than from uh, from from what happened under, under Kevin Ollie. It is completely separate from... Uh, what happened? Why am I forgetting the name of the legendary cook? Calhoun, John Cal- uh, Jim Calhoun. He's got his own thing now. And now he's being targeted by Kentucky. And but no, we haven't heard an announcement yet on, on John Calipari at Arkansas. I guess that's the first thing we got to get to after all of that. Um, no announcement yet. I think some people were a little bit nervous from yesterday and feeling like, well, we're already talking. He's the next Arkansas coach. And yet, hasn't even left Kentucky yet. And yet, he hadn't had a supposed to have a meeting with the with the team at his house. That never happened. I saw somebody also point out must didn't get it. Must didn't have a meeting with his players either. Ah, well, part of the reason might have been they were all gone by that point. Right. Um, but I don't know. Did Did you see the video of Cal walking his dog yesterday in Lexington? He he reminds me of Jose Mourinho. Uh, when Jose Mourinho was leaving uh, at Man United for the last time, he was walking in London. He, you know, he's going on a walk when all this is going on, and reporters just walk up to him, uh, and he's just like, no comment, you know. And so, yeah, that's kind of the same thing. He's he's walking the he's walking his. I thought he was walking a grandbaby because it was a it was a a stroller. He was pushing a stroller like I'm walking my dog. I'm like I guess the dog must have a broken leg or something, and wouldn't answer a question. It was just kind of a bizarre scene. Just a man walking his dog when he is the most talked about man in that city. And <laughs> it was just kind of an odd sort of a thing. Some people are oh, they're, they're holding up. There's no hold up in this. This is all about to happen. There's going to be an announcement sometime. I'm assuming an announcement at some time today, whether while we're on the air or later on in the afternoon, because you can't do it yesterday. You can't. E- even if the contract would have been signed, you can't quote-unquote, upstage the national championship game, even though the news kind of did upstage the championship game. The day of the championship game of the NCAA tournament is not the day to announce a coaching change. The day after is. That's how I see it. You know, you got a seat at the table. You know, it's like uh, when you go to Thanksgiving dinner uh, with the family and they're like, you got, you're sitting over at the kids table and then you got the, the, the adult table. Coach Cal's got a seat. Arkansas, we're sitting at the, we're sitting at the grown up table right now. Did you notice he was checking his phone that whole time too? Like during that walk with his dog, I noticed that. Just, it was probably an app that was monitoring the health of the, of the animal in the, in the, <laughs> in the print prompt. The oxygen level. Waiting Absolutely. for a phone call. Yeah. Too much Look, pollen in there. That's right. Um, to, to expand on what you just said, Arkansas is now, an, is now one of the schools that is paying the basketball coach more than the football coach. We're sitting, there, yeah. there aren't many of them. We're sitting at the grown up table. There's that's hope. There's excitement. Uh, we don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, I, I, I have a feeling that his last five years at Kentucky, it's going to be better. The first five years at Arkansas, I think would be better than his last five years. Um, might be a hit or miss. You might have one one year final four. The next year might not make the tournament. Uh, you, you know you don't know. But I, Arkansas got better. We're sit we're sitting there at the table. We got a chance every year. It's 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 kind of like what do you say with the baseball team? I ask you this every year. The the season starts. You know what's the goal? And you're like go to Omaha. What's the goal? Make a final four. You know that's the goal. That was the goal of Kentucky too, and didn't come close to it in the last few years. But look, I I, I can't I can't imagine that he comes back. He, comes here to Arkansas and is, and is building a roster the exact same way. I, 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 I'm, now, I'm, I'm just I'm saying this as somebody that, that is looking around the landscape of college basketball and the teams that are in the Final Four are veteran. I think you'll end up with a mix. I think you'll have a mix of, of really talented young players and older players that have been around a little bit. And if the idea is to win, if it is to win, that's a great way to handle it. And that ought to get everybody on the same page. Um, but I, but I, I'm just sort of ama- I don't know if Arkansas has ever been in this position. Did Nolan ever make more than the football coach? Get a national I title. I think that was kind of part of the deal when it when it ended. I think that right? might have had something to do with it. Speaking of of freshmen, uh, Castle number five from UConn. Mm-hmm. 
talk about athletic. We didn't have a single guard that athletic on, on our team. That's a guy that he's, I don't know that he, he kind of reminds me if you remember Marcus smart at Oklahoma state, sure. just athletic, uh, can get to the realm. He's going to get better. Like he still needs two years of college ball. Then he could, he could be a lottery pick. Uh, I don't know what, what his deal is, if he goes or not, but that's a guy that you, that you, that you look at that, I mean, he's a stud <laughs> putting together an NIL deal for him right now. Well, I, you know, I don't know what it would have to be. And he's number five, you know, I'm partial to guys that wear the number five that's that are, true. that are good. Uh, but I, I just, his athletic ability, he, man, he was just, and, and, you know, when you play against Purdue, um, it could be false advertising. Your guards are going to look way, they're going to look a lot more athletic than Purdue's guards. Uh, but I liked I liked that little freshman that freshman guard for sure. Here's what's halftime on this Tuesday. Any breaking news? If it does break, we will pass it along in a moment's notice. Outside of that, um, it's a regular Tuesday with Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio, hour number three. I tuned into his show uh, yesterday, and he didn't really do much football talk. It was, and it really wasn't all that much on the bat on the on the championship game of the basketball of the NCAA basketball tournament. It was about. Calipari to Arkansas. Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation also went this in hour number two. And uh, Chuck Barrett, the voice of the Razorbacks, in just a moment. Plus your calls and texts as we go throughout the show and the McClarty Daniel hotline. Uh, we'll have Chuck, and we can take calls in about 15 minutes or so. All right, stay with us. Chuck Barrett with us on Halftime right after this. Touchdown, Arkansas! We fought back. We took a punch. And we answered that. He's going to go. Johnson's at midfield, and there he goes. 98 yards. Keep I saw it, but I'm not sure I believe it. Listen to every Razorback football game this season right here on ESPN 95.3 and hitthatline.com. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. That's why we work with you to design an auto, home, and life insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter is known for our award-winning customer service. Satisfied customers and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. See Agent Jeff Clark in Fort Smith or Agent Brad Howell in Van Buren. When it's time for breakfast, Calico County is making it all from scratch. Yet the dedicated early morning crew at Calico are cooking up and serving buttermilk pancakes, moist biscuits, rich waffles, country fried potatoes, three types of gravy, and of course their famous cinnamon rolls and much more. They serve all of this and a lot more seven days a week until 11 a.m. Stop in, call ahead, or get it to go. Or just come by and pick up a dozen cinnamon rolls for the office. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, or catering, roll on into Calico County. They're home cooking good. Calico County, just off Rogers Avenue behind Randall Ford. Arkansas Fuel Injection in Fort Smith has been providing quality work for all new and rebuilt diesel pumps and injectors for over 25 years. They are a certified diesel shop with a team of quality technicians that ensure the highest quality worksmanship and warranties all their work. They are open Monday through Friday 8 to 5 and has emergency service available 24 hours a day. For all your diesel pump, fuel injection, and parts needs, stop by Arkansas Fuel Injection, 6300 South 29th Street, Fort Smith. Call them today at 1-800-817-7709. Arkansas Fuel injection. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Why did they have this party outside? Who wants cake? Mosquitoes are terrible. Let's get out of here. I'm getting eaten alive. Mosquitoes sucking the life out of your party? Call Mosquito Joe for an effective, affordable solution for keeping your backyard light and itch-free. Satisfaction guaranteed. Visit Arkansas.MosquitoJoe.com for a free quote or call 479-202-9960. Mom, everyone's sleeping. This flight. MosquitoJoe.com. Outside is fun again. 
Come get you some. 2728 Townsend Avenue is your off-road and performance center headquarters. They've got everything from lift kits, wheels, LED light bars, UTV parts and accessories, winches and tires. Need general 4x4 repair? No problem. Come get you some has one of the largest 4x4 shops in the state. They do it all, from installing a bug shield to building some of the baddest off-road machines in the country. Call them today at 782-6833. That's 782-MUD. Or check them out online at cgysoffroad.com. Come get you some. Harry Robinson Salas Hall Ford wants to buy or trade for your vehicle today, and they will give you top dollar. Pre-owned car values are at historic all-time highs, and your car today is worth more than it ever will be again. If you are driving a 2013 model or newer with 120,000 miles or less, bring it to Harry Robinson Salas Hall Ford, and they'll give you more than any other dealer. Even if you don't want to buy a new car, they'll still buy yours. Harry Robinson Salas Hall Ford, one mile south of exit 308 off I-40 in Salas Hall. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN Find halftime on 99.5 in Northwest Arkansas, 95.3 in Fort Smith in the River Valley, 96.3 in Hot Springs in Central Arkansas, 104.3 in Harrison and Mountain Home, and everywhere on HitThatLine.com. Join the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to the host. Here's Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Tuesday mornings on halftime, we'll get a chance to visit with the voice of the Razorbacks, Chuck Barrett. We'll have him for a couple of segments. He's on the McClarty Daniel Hotline right now. Hey, good morning, Chuck. What's going on? Well, good morning, guys. How are you? Doing well, man. You know, just a regular average week of sports talk here in Arkansas. And not all That's that much going on. Right there, too. That was a great musical selection. The Silvers. See mu- Fever. Yeah, see music gets it going on sometimes. We like to give the people what they want. That's good. I like that. You could not hear the lyrics because the voiceover was playing, but you want to talk about some big time lyrics. The next verse in that song was, I took my baby to the pizza parlor to get a bite to eat. <laughs> they don't write them like that anymore, man. Just that's poetry. Perfect it poetry is. right they there. They don't write them like that anymore. Speaking of um, giving people what they want, I-, I feel like John Calipari coming to Arkansas and the things that I think he's already said about the job, that is giving people what they want. Maybe, I mean, it, you might, people have their ideas about John Calipari as a coach, I'm sure, but I, I, wanted, I wanted somebody to view the Razorback basketball head coaching job the way that everybody else does, as a place that you go to, not a place that you willfully leave from. And that's independent of the reasons that Musk may have left Arkansas for USC. And I feel like that's how Cal is viewing Arkansas. Well, I don't know how Cal's viewing Arkansas. He views them well enough to come here. Um, I know Razorback fans, we love to see ourselves on the national news. And um, we've been front and center. And I think people enjoy that. They like being part of the conversation. John Calipari is, you know, he's college basketball's, you know, ultimate showman, coach, entertainer. Uh, He's the whole package. Uh, We've never had anybody like this here coaching any sport. Lou Holtz became that, but he wasn't that when he was here. We've never had anything like this come our way before. This um, This is not your normal coaching hire. I'll just put it that way. Yeah, as a basketball fan, you're you're excited. Um, Do you think that, you know, do you think we're going to have unrealistic expectations? What should we expect uh, as as Razorback basketball fans? Well, you know, this is my thought on where John Calipari is right now. Um, you know, John Calipari, first off, is a national brand. 
we've never had a national brand as a coach for any of our sports here before. But beneath all that, this guy's a competitor. You know, I, I was I was thinking about, you know, 20-something years ago um, when I believe, and, and, and I think it's probably fairly well documented, that Coach Richardson felt unappreciated, uh, made him angry. Um, I know John Calipari feels unappreciated right now for what he's done at Kentucky. And I would imagine beneath all the, the, the John Calipari show is a really pissed off coach. I would imagine he's angry every day. These people do not appreciate what I've done here. Um, I would think whatever he's got left at 65 years old, we're about to get it. We're about to get the best of it. Um, I think he's going to be a fired-up competitor. I think he wants to shut some people up. I think he wants to show that the old guy still got it. And as a guy who's 61, I can kind of relate to that. So I think that's what we're getting. I think the expectation should be that we're going to get the very best John Calipari has to offer. And, you know, I realize that people become prisoners of the moment. Let me put this in perspective, and I think my numbers are right on this. I think Arkansas has been to 14 Sweet 16s in the course of their basketball history. Cal's been to 15 just by himself. So you can look that up and see if I'm right or not. I'm pretty close. Um, we're getting a guy that, and I think about the first six years at Kentucky, they went to the Final Four four of those six years. Um, I think we're getting that kind of motivated coach. I don't buy into this, you know, last hurrah stuff or, you know, last go round riding out the, you know, riding off into the sunset at Arkansas. Um, I think he's got some game left and I think we're about to get it. Does it mean building a team any differently? I mean, to put it, to put it that, that simple. Well, I don't know that you have that luxury today. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know that you do. Um, I remember when Sam Pittman was hired, he said we were just looking for some guys that liked us that first year. I don't think it's going to be like that. But if you're asking, do you go outside a bunch of high school guys? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, he indicated at the end of the last season of Kentucky that he was going to modify his approach. Now, I don't think any coach really changes their approach. They modify it, but I don't think they ever really change it. I would imagine we'll see a mix. Here's what I will say. Um, when you have the NIL money that he is reportedly going to have at his disposal, I don't know what the figure is. I've heard him, but I don't know what the final figure is going to be. And it may be what you need within reason. There may not be a figure. It may be what you need within reason. Um I think every college basketball player in America who's in the transfer portal stops and takes a look. I think every high school player in America takes a look. Um, I think everybody's on the table. I don't think anything's off limits. So that's a long way of saying I'm not quite sure what the expectation should be, but I know we've never seen anything like it before. And I would imagine that this roster will – you know, we'll have a pretty good idea. I won't say in short order what it's going to look like, but I think it'll take shape rather quickly. Maybe something that, you know, continues for the next couple of months. I don't know. But I don't think there's any reason to believe that John Calipari won't assemble a roster of great players the same way he always has. I, when I look around all, all of sport, even even world soccer, thinking of like FC Barcelona and Real Madrid and, and thinking of home court advantage, Chuck, uh, Bud Walton can be a fortress. And, and I know this last year uh, it, it didn't seem that way. Do you think that comes back where we win 90% of our home games? Well, if you get the right players, yes. I mean, I think you can dominate your home floor if you get the right players. We've seen that. Um you know, John Calipari's not going to walk out there and play five guys on the other team and dominate the home court. I mean, he's got to go get them, and he will, I think. His track record indicates that he will. But whoever it is, and if they'd hired John Calipari or they'd hired, you know, any of us, I mean, the first order of business is protecting the home floor. 
Well, now the first order of business, I guess, after putting pen to paper and having a press conference, which is the, the news everybody's waiting on, is literally building a team from the ground up. I mean, starting totally over. Although, I, I mean, may, maybe a couple guys that are in the portal come back. I don't know. But, I mean, that's going to be, that's gonna be on, on, Coach, on John Calipari, whether he wants him back or not. Um, but it is literally a total rebuild otherwise. <laughs> is it what? Lawson Blake's the only one left now, right? That's it. So a, a total rebuild in terms of, of, of recruiting class, in terms of the makeup of everything. I've never seen anything like it here. Well, but I think it's the norm now when you talk about major programs um, and the ability to go into the transfer portal. Musk, for example, he's got a total rebuild at USC. Um, that's how it is now. When you leave, you don't leave a full cupboard. Um, it's just not that way anymore. And the players that Arkansas has had enter the portal, um, you know, I'm sure they are exploring their options. Now, one of their options may be to stay at Arkansas. It might not be. That's up to the head coach. But I would imagine, just as we discovered in the aftermath, that you know, Mus Mus was recruiting for his next job even when he was still being paid by Arkansas. Um, I would imagine Cal has an idea about what directions he's going to go in terms of players. I would be shocked if he doesn't. Um, you know, he's a competitor and a coach first and foremost. And, you know, if he comes to Arkansas and crashes and burns, you combine that with the last five years at Kentucky. If you look at his body of work, he's still a Hall of Famer, but there's no question there would be a decline at the end. So I'll go back to the original point that I made. I, I think you're going to get a guy that's super fired up. This is a Hall of Fame coach that I think wants to go out like a Hall of Fame coach. Yeah, game day is going to be going to be fun, whether it be at Kentucky or, or in Fayetteville. Hey, uh, Chuck, who do you think um, – where do you think Kentucky goes? I mean, the SEC is just as strong, and, and Kentucky kind of gets their pick of the litter. Um, who, do, who do you think they go after next? Well, I don't know. None of the names that I've heard so far sort of uh, short of Billy Donovan um, I think can follow Calipari's act. Um, when you really look at Kentucky, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I've not spent more than about 10 seconds thinking about who they'd hire. But when you look at their history, the only two coaches in the post Adolph Rupp, Joe B. Hall era that have mastered it are Rick Pitino and John Calipari. The others were swallowed up by it eventually. It ate them alive. Uh, even Tubby Smith, uh, Eddie Sutton, just swallowed whole by the whole deal. Billy Gillespie. Um, it takes a special person to handle that. I made the statement to a friend, and I believe it, to their people. I'm not talking about to the outside world, but I'm talking about to their people. Kentucky basketball is bigger than Alabama football. It's bigger than Georgia football. Kentucky basketball is bigger to the Kentucky fans than football is to the Alabama people. I truly believe that. Now, you think about that for a minute. Um, they'll go out and hire a great coach. But as we saw with Alabama and Nick Saban, as we see, maybe not quite to the extent yet with Kirby Smart, but by the time it's over, he'll be in that category. You've got to have somebody larger than life who can handle all of that. So, to me, when I look at Kentucky's situation, there's only one guy out there where you can say the beat goes on, and that's Billy Donovan, and I don't know if they can get him. That's the name I was thinking, too, and I, there's something you said there about being larger than life. I, 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 that's how I view Calipari as. And, look, I know he's a coach first and foremost, but there's, he's, he's, he's different than that. He's, he's, he's a, college basketball's Elvis. That's I mean, well said. I'm not the first to say that, but uh, um, he, he's, he's, he's college basketball's Elvis. I mean, he is. He, he, um, there are other coaches out there. There are other coaches who, who have won more lately than him. There are other, just like there are other recording artists that had number one hits while Elvis was still, you know, churning them out. But he's Elvis in college basketball. I mean, he is. A hunk, a hunk of burning love. 
Hey, we got Chuck for another segment on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. You can dial us up and talk. 877-377-6963. Quick break. Right back after this. You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Listen anytime and anywhere on your favorite mobile device. Just search Hit That Line now. Hey there, business ballers and entrepreneurs. Ready to make your financial dreams come true? Well, get ready to score big with SwishFunding.com, the slam dunk solution for all your business funding needs. Just like that satisfying swish when the ball goes in, SwishFunding.com guarantees you a seamless funding experience. Working capital, expanding your business, upgrading your equipment, or even covering payroll. If you have at least $25,000 in monthly revenue and been in business for at least one year, qualifying is easier than a layup. At Swish Funding, we fund up to $5 million in 24 hours. SwishFunding.com's team will guide you every step of the way. No more banking red tape. Just quick, decisive action to get you back in the game. Head over to SwishFunding.com and slam dunk your financial goals today. Remember, it's not just a shot in the dark. It's a surefire swish. Go to SwishFunding.com. That's S-W-I-S-H Funding.com. SwishFunding.com. You're listening to Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Crabtree RV Center, where RVing is life. Before you buy that next car or truck, stop by Broadway Motors in Van Buren. The best of the best for two straight years. Michael and his team offer the best prices on the best quality pre-owned vehicles in the River Valley. They invite you to stop by and check it out for yourself. Or if you prefer to check out their inventory online or even do your financing online. Michael has built his reputation as a husband, father, and owner-operator since 2006. Broadway Motors, 806 Broadway in Van Buren or online at broadwaymotorsar.com. Spring is just around the corner, and Jelco Outdoors is ready with all of your spring fishing gear. Crappie, bass, catfish, Jelco has a great selection of rods, reels, and baits to help you fill that stringer. Spring turkey supplies are rolling in daily, and the firearms department is stocked up with ammo for outdoor shooting. Spring is almost here, so get outdoors and enjoy the spring season. Stop by Jelco Outdoors, 4600 South Zero in Fort Smith. For all your outdoor gear, think spring, think Jelco Outdoors. When it's time for breakfast, Calico County is making it all from scratch. You have the dedicated early morning crew at Calico are cooking up and serving buttermilk pancakes, moist biscuits, rich waffles, country fried potatoes, three types of gravy, and of course their famous cinnamon rolls and much more. They serve all of this and a lot more seven days a week until 11 a.m. Stop in, call ahead, or get it to go. Or just come by and pick up a dozen cinnamon rolls for the office. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, or catering, roll on into Calico County. They're home cooking good. Calico County, just off Rogers Avenue behind Randall Ford. Insurance company throwing you a curveball? Are they crowding the plate and not offering you a fair settlement? If you've been injured in a car wreck, you need an experienced attorney to fight for you. I'm Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions. Licensed in Arkansas and Oklahoma, no win, no fee. Call Mock Legal Solutions today for your free consultation. 479-769-1505. Real advice, reasonable price. If you've lived in the River Valley for a while, you know about the great reputation of Jam Mart. And their newest location at 6201 Grand Avenue in Fort Smith is open. Stop by for coffee, gas, beer, snacks, ices, and a clean restroom every time. Don't forget about the hot deli and fresh made burgers. Now seven locations in Fort Smith, Greenwood, Boonville, Ozark, and Danville. Sign up for their loyalty program for discounts throughout the stores. Jam Mart, the leading convenience store and gas station in the region. Do you need an oil change but don't have time to drop off your car? S&J Express Lube will let you sit in your car while they do the work, and it only takes about 15 minutes with no appointment needed. Prices start at $35.99 for a 20-point inspection service. S&J Express Lube is open Monday through Friday 9 to 6 and Saturdays 8 till noon. You'll find them at 14818 Highway 71 South in Jenny Lynn. Check them out on Facebook, too. S&J Express Lube, your authorized pastoral dealer in Sebastian County. They are waiting on you now. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Know what I would find there. Another road where maybe I could see another kind of vibe there. Ooh, and I suddenly see you. Ooh, did I tell you I need you? Every single day of my life. You didn't 
and run, you didn't lie, you knew I wanted just to hold you. And had you gone, you knew in time we'd meet again, for I had told you. Ooh, you were meant to be near me. Ooh, and I want you to hear me say we'll be together every day. You're listening to Halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Want to jump in the conversation? Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now, here's Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Back on Halftime, Chuck Barrett, voice of the Razorbacks, still with us here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Got him for another segment. Um, Chuck, basketball championships decided Sunday. And Monday, uh, I don't think we've got the ratings for last night's game yet, but apparently the uh, women's championship with South Carolina and Iowa is the highest-rated basketball game since 2019. That's any basketball game. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that continues moving forward, but, man, the, the, the women's game is in a place that it has never been before. Uh, the personalities that are, that are in the game right now are, are a reason why. But when I think of South Carolina, yeah, I mean, they got a great team. Don't get me wrong. But I think more of the coach. I think more, you know, program than one specific player. And they are, uh, they were unbeatable. Oh, South Carolina was just, uh, I mean, they were a machine. Uh, they, um, you know, they kind of remind me of UConn on the men's side. I mean, you can play a great game against them and still lose by 15. And South Carolina certainly was 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 that way on the women's side. I'm going to be interested to see how all this um, is handled moving forward. Um, Caitlin Clark's been the impetus for all of this, um, and of course she's going to the WNBA. Um, can she number one make the WNBA more popular than it has been? It certainly could use a boost. Can college, can women's college basketball sustain itself beyond her? You know, the men's game is all about the coaches. Um, and, and, and you kind of alluded to that there. On the women's side, Kim Mulkey has that personality. Dawn Staley has that larger-than-life personality. Gino Ariema certainly does, although he's not going to be around, you know, coaching just a whole lot longer. He's... Uh, there's not anybody else out there that is anywhere close to being a household name. And so someone's beyond those, those are going to have to become household names. I don't mean great coaches. I don't mean Hall of Famers. I mean household names like John Calipari. Um, maybe not to that extent, but to a very large extent. Can that happen? Um Will Caitlin Clark be as valuable to State Farm when she's playing in the WNBA as she has been as a collegiate player? I don't know the answers to all these questions. I know they've had a great year, a banner year, um, a year unlike anything we've seen. Yeah, I don't but know. It's been very player driven. It's been very player driven, almost NBA like in that regard. I don't know what the viewership is to any WNBA game, like what you just brought up, Phil, to to see if that carries on. W would you not think – I think, you know, C Caitlin Clark's more valuable to the college basketball. Would you not think there's some way to – would you not want to keep her in college basketball for another year? Well, she wants to compete against the best players in the world. And everybody's clock is ticking. And in athletics, you can get old in a hurry. You know, you can uh, – <laughs> You can be a young person to the outside world, but you can be old in sports. And I would imagine she wants to compete against the best in the world. And if she does, it's time to go. She's not going to get any better, I don't think, playing in college. Um, you know, the and Matt, you understand this probably better than anyone. We, we, we do focus on the money and the value. And in Caitlin Clark, Clark's case, might be greater in college than in pros. But underneath it all, there's still a competitor. There's still someone that wants to compete against the best players out there. And um, the college women's game is, is in a position to really capitalize 
off all of this. But they need more stars. They need stars. They need people that are marketable. What is, uh, are you going to be checking out Augusta this week, Chuck? Yeah, I'll pay attention. You think, do uh, you like Rory? You know, he played in the Bolero this last week, and it was I was kind of shocked because a lot of the big timers, they uh, they take that week off. Uh, but he, he shot a last, I, I, I want to say he was like a 66 on the final day. Uh, are you are you a Scotty Scheffler guy? You think he's gonna gonna get it? I don't know who's gonna win. I mean, it's 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 so tough to pick the winner of a golf tournament. Scheffler would certainly be as good a bet as anybody. There's always a European flair in 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 this tournament, and as long as he's breathing, I'm gonna bet on Bernard Longer to have a good first round. He tore his um, ACL playing pickleball, Chuck. He's he's missing. He's, he's gonna, not playing. He's missing. He's not the playing. Pickleball oh. got him. Yeah. Oh, can't that's be what the he gets from playing pickleball. Can't be the only guy that that's happened to with the explosion of pickleball and, you know, older guys trying to play it. Have you played pickleball at all, Chuck? I attempted one night. It's, uh, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm 61 now, guys, and I know there are those that still play at 61, but um, I sprained my ankle a couple of years ago, and I can't get it out of my head. I am so fearful of that. It's the stops and the again. starts. It, it I mean, really it, hurt, man. It really, really hurt. And when it happened, I thought, I'm done. I'm done. You know, this is it. Hey, I, we got we got a repeat national champion in men's basketball. We've had a repeat national champion in college football over the last three years. Um, I, I, I keep being told that it's <clears throat> really difficult to continue that kind of excellence in college sports because of uh, player movement. Um, and maybe at Georgia, they didn't have quite as much movement as UConn did, but they replaced a lot of guys at UConn from one championship to the next. And yeah, you kind of got to take a step back and admire what, what Dan Hurley was able to accomplish there. The players too, but the coach is the one that kind of is the uh, common denominator. That's a basketball factory. Um, Jim Calhoun, Kevin Ollie, now Dan Hurley. Um, Dan Hurley's a great coach, don't get me wrong, and he's perfectly suited to continue what's happened there for the last 25 or 30 years. But that's a basketball factory, and um, you don't find many programs like that, you know, just in our lifetimes where three different guys have won national championships. That um, that speaks volumes to the way they do things there. Well, and it's look, it's also a school that ha- – that's a basketball school. You know, they, oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. They put money into football. They've tried to put money into football, but like that's one of the what that's one of the athletic departments. If we get to a world, and I'm not asking like what does the world look like if this does happen. You know, you might have read about the the uh, the super league that uh, this organization wants to start in college football. If that were to happen, that does not include UConn at all. They they don't have that cachet for football. But man, it's just I I'm trying to envision this world where like basketball is separated from football. And I really have a difficult time doing it. Well, and a program like UConn, as good as they've been in basketball for the last 25 years, like football is such an afterthought. Well, you have to remember UConn's a product of a basketball conference. Um, You know, the big East was constructed with basketball in mind. The one, I don't know that tragedy is the right way to put it, but, the one thing, the one unfortunate thing uh, that has resulted in all the football consolidation has been that the best basketball conference went away. When the Big East was loaded with all those great basketball schools, Georgetown, St. John's, UConn, you just run down the list, Villanova, um, that was big-time college basketball. Only the ACC rivaled it. Um, and – you know, the, the the expansion and everything that's come with college football has destroyed that. that. That's a different story, and I'm not crying any tears over it, but UConn comes from that background. Uh, tough kids, Northeast kids, tough kids, basketball kids. And um, their culture is such that, you know, they, they, they win regardless of who the head coach is. I think Jim Calhoun's shadow is still very, very evident there, I would suspect. Remember, that UConn left the American Conference because it was damaging their basketball program. Right. They right. Act, they're they independent for football. This is literally a school that is saying, we don't want any of that sweet, sweet television conference money for football because being in a conference 
hampered our basketball program in both men's and women's. I wish the old Big East would reorganize as a basketball conference. Just said hell with football. That's and, what I grew uh, up rooting it. That's what I grew up watching. Them, it was great. Uh, all of them go back and play the way they used to. That was, um, hey, that was that was tough, big time, city kids college basketball right there. That was that was that was Rucker Park in a nice arena. Jesse in Mountain Homes uh, texted in. He did some research for us here. He said uh, pickleball related fractures annually are up to. Uh, approximately 5,400. We've got to be careful playing this mm-hmm. sport, man. Chuck, be, don't play that thing again, all right? I'm not. Yeah, that's definitive. That's a definitive I'll make that play. solemn vow to you right now that I'm retired from pickleball. <laughs> One and done, right, to borrow the term. That's, Chuck, will you I'd be? I'd like to be able to hit 4.0, maybe occasionally 4.2 on the treadmill, but that's enough for me. Hey, will you be there Saturday, uh, the spring game? Yeah, we're doing a broadcast. All I'll right. be in the area. I'll be in the area. Do we know how they're keeping score or the format or anything yet? Well, just to be honest with you, I have a meeting later today on this, and uh, I don't know the answers to those questions, but I will by the close of business today. Well, I'm sorry I'm not there to uh, to help spot because I'll be at Alabama, but when the games count, I'll be there with you. <laughs> I know you will. You've got business to tend to this weekend. They've... Uh, Life's about to change a little bit. You know this. They're about to go out on the road, and I don't care how good you are. It's different away from home. That's right. Next six SEC games are on the road, and uh, you learn a lot about yourself when you're on the road in any That's sport. That's exactly right. Chuck, appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Uh, we'll do it again next week, okay? All right, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Chuck Barrett, the voice of the Razorbacks, with us each Tuesday here on Halftime. I played pickleball a few times. I would play more. I just haven't been able to find the time for it. If it's if it's fifty four hundred pickleball related fractures, I feel like I'm lucky I wasn't one of them. Is it similar movement to to racquetball or even less? I would say similar. The stops and the starts, just minus the wall. You don't have to cover as much ground in pickleball. There's also always two on two, right? Yes. Yeah. So as far as I know, as far as you know too. 877-377-6963 877-377-6963 for calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Wrapping up the first hour of halftime in just a moment. This is halftime. With everyday low prices on top brands, locally owned Jaeger's Ace Hardware is committed to offering real service with real savings. Get these red hot buys at any of our four locations. Save $90 on the DeWalt 20 volt max trimmer and blower kit. Only $199 with your Ace Rewards card. Triazicide 10 pound granules, ready to spray or concentrate, is $799 with Ace Rewards. And buy batteries and chargers and get the tool free on select DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Craftsman power tools. Find us online at Jaeger'sHardware.com. Hello, this is Sebastian County Assessor Zach Johnson here to remind you to assess your personal property by May 31st to avoid late penalty. You can do this in person at one of our three locations, over the phone, or online by going to www.countyservice.net. I would also like to remind any current homeowners or individuals buying their homes on contract to contact our office and check on your eligibility for the Homestead Tax Credit. Contact us today to see if you qualify. The Homestead Tax Credit can save you up to $425 off of your tax bill. This ad sponsored by Sebastian County Assessor and paid for by Amendment 7. The largest used car sales event in Fort Smith history. The inventory liquidation event at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Seven days only. Harry Robinson has over 500 vehicles deeply discounted. State sales tax paid on every used car. No payments for 90 days. Plus, bring your trade because nobody pays more than Harry Robinson. The inventory liquidation event. Extended hours through Monday. Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. Hey, it's Ty Richardson for Papa's Pub and Pizzeria. I want to talk about their pizza today. The Goob Special with extra pepperoni and rib rub on top. The Parm Special with double mushroom and jalapenos. Don't forget about the bacon cheeseburger and everyone's favorite, the old trash can. Swing on by Papa's Pub and Pizzeria at 508 Garrison Avenue in downtown Fort Smith. Or give them a call at 479-783-9941. Papa's Pub and Pizzeria, the best darn pizza in Fort Smith. Perhaps the world. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch. Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics. Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? 
<laughs> with a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Call your local shelter agent, Chris Dooley, at 479-646-6792. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect, changing the communities we serve. Looking for a change? For a limited time, we're offering up to a $15,000 hiring bonus and a $3,000 referral bonus for maintenance tax, including electricians and refrigeration tax. Ask a friend who works at Simmons for more information, and you can both win. Simmons offers vacation matching, a 401k plan, and premium health care for team members and their families through our care clinics at no additional cost. Learn more at worketsimmons.com or stop by the Fort Smith City Hiring Center at 4900 Rogers Avenue, Suite 103 in Fort Smith. Find out more about the $15,000 hiring bonus and start getting paid sooner with same-day hiring options. We look forward to seeing you. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Could not bring the bad luck since the day I saw the cat in my trap. So I came into you, sweet lady. In your mystical bag. Still on the table. Don't end up you to the past. Same cat with them in your life. And I knew it was a spell she cast. Welcome back into Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Studio. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we make your dreams come true. Keep getting texts on the uh, McClarty Daniel text line asking, when's the official press conference? Has there been an announcement? Is there going to be an announcement? No, and I don't know. And there won't be any knowledge of these things either. But the moment that the uh, news comes across, somebody on this radio station will say something about it. Like the moment it happens. We might have a guest later. Alyssa Orange may be in mid-sentence in about uh, 25 minutes, Matt. And if she's in the middle of saying something, and the news comes across that there's a press conference announcing John Calipari's hire, then I will break in. At that, I'll, I'll be incredibly rude and break in. I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's 100% he's going to be the next coach of the, the University of Arkansas Razorbacks. feel pretty good about yeah. it, too. Great Jason said this hire raises the bar for any other hire. Chuck for a called head it the, coach at Arkansas. Chuck called it the best, the best ever. Like the he's the Elvis of of college basketball. That the highest profile profile guy that we've ever went and got. Does this mean that the next time there's a big open job for an athletics uh, for a job in athletics uh, for head coach that that money's no I, option that 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 you can go find a current Hall of Famer and I think we made a choice we made a decision of which lane we want to be and uh, Arkansas is a basketball school but who made that choice is it is it athletics is it Hunter Urich you know, it might or is be it John a little, Tyson it might be a little you know that home court advantage is is going to be the Bud Walton's going to be rocking I you don't know what's what's more expensive or, or what they like or what what might be easier to to win in, I think basketball is a little easier. I mean, you get the best couple players in basketball. You know, that's especially, especially in the NBA. The higher up you go, if you got the better players, you're gonna you're gonna be making it. Feels like it's the kind of thing that could be based upon a personal relationship, upon two men, one of them who has more money than any of us know what it what what that's like, um, and and that that's what it's about more than anything else. We're kind of and, and and also I think John Calipari views this job in a certain way. 
it's a great job. Uh, I'd even put it higher than, than Ole Miss football because you look at Ole Miss football last year and, and what they're doing this year. They're going to be, I mean, everybody's, they, they've been spending money, willing and dealing, doing everything. They went and got Arkansas's best player from last year's team and, and Chris uh, Pooh Williams. Mm-hmm. Um, Paul. Chris Paul Williams, sorry. And that's what that's what we've went and do, we've went and done with Coach Cal. I mean, we're setting we're we like I said we got a we got a seat at the at the big table, the grown up table. We'll take your calls and texts as we go into hour number two of halftime at eight seven seven three seven seven sixty nine sixty three. Remember, get a great deal on any of McClarty Daniels vehicles on any of their six locations in Springdale or Bentonville, and always online at McClartyDaniel dot com. Um. Leonard wants to know about the baseball game today. Yep. Good California team. Not so much. Um, I don't think San Jose State has been great. Uh, and 6 o'clock. Uh, a little rainy in Fayetteville, but I think we should be okay today. Tomorrow may be another story. It looks like it may be raining literally all day long. And, uh, yeah, 5.30 is when we get that thing going. Alyssa Orange from Picture Nation coming up in just a few minutes. They still the San Jose State Spartans. They are the Spartans. Okay, that's right. I've actually been to their baseball park, uh, which is the home of the San Jose. They might still be the San Jose Giants. It's a fun little city. The Santa Cruz Banana Slugs, right? Is it Santa Cruz or is it Irvine? Forget. Yeah, we'll have to check on that. We're porting back in just a moment here in halftime. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's number one mobile app for placing sports wagers. In Arkansas, seven out of every ten dollars placed on a sporting bet app is with Bet Saracen because Bet Saracen offers more ways to win and more ways to get paid and faster. Find your winners on Bet Saracen and look for my double R prop bet specials. I pick them and you win them. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports wagering app. Gambling problem? Call 800-522-4700. Are you tired of the overcrowded fitness centers? Would you like a fitness option where you can actually work out? Then let's hang out. The Hangout is Fort Smith's newest fitness facility. It has an 8,000 square foot gym, indoor tennis, pickleball, and basketball with more sports coming soon. The Hangout offers group and individual training in the gym and boasts three active tennis pros to help you grow your game. Stop in today at 5400 Gary Street or thehangoutfs.com for more information. Be a part of something different. Fitness, sports, and more. Let's hang out. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your home, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. Sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. This is Bruce Stanton, Vice President and General Manager of Pradco Fishing in Fort Smith. Our number one volume lure out of our 20 fishing brands is the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. We make them by the millions in our facility in Fort Smith, and the Baby Shad is without a doubt the number one soft plastic crappie lure in the U.S. Fish it on a light jig head or underneath a float, and you'll find it's as productive as live bait. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place, the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, occasional showers, a few thunderstorms, our high temperatures today will be into the upper 60s. We will see occasional showers, a few isolated thunderstorms tonight, and overnight low will drop down mid to upper 50s. And then occasional showers with a few thunderstorms on Wednesday, highs on Wednesday in the 60s. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grant Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. KERX Paris Fort Smith. This is Halftime, coming at you from the Crabtree RV Studios on ESPN 95.3. 
Coming to you live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Broadcasting in ESPN, Arkansas. And streaming on hitthatline.com. We're not the good one tonight. You got a team in here that doesn't respect it. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Don't ask me if I'm all right. What can you say to me? And we're not doing it. We're going to go get one and celebrate on somebody else's tail. Well, Both said you had very motivational words at halftime. It's halftime with Bill Olson and Matt Jones. From the bottom of my toes to the top of my head. I have zero respect for saying no ma at halftime. Hey, one back. It's vintage Matt Jones. Here we go. Right now, let's take the field out. Call or text on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now, here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. End of the second hour of halftime on a wet and rainy Tuesday across much of our listening audience. We're here outside our studios. It is nice and bright. Phil Elson, along with Matt Jones and the C-Unit, Kristen Johnston, producing we have Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation in about 15 minutes, uh, but uh, that'll be in about 15 minutes. We've got a few callers lined up here, and we'll get to those in a moment. Uh, Great Jason also posited a pretty interesting question, too. Uh, John Calipari apparently is going to be the head coach of Arkansas basketball while there are renovations being done to Bud Walton Arena, which means he will, get, he will have, uh, <laughs> he'll have input upon this. Head coach ought to have input on on uh, the renovations of the basketball arena. You think he can pinpoint where the loudest boos have ever come from? It's like uh, kind of appointing a, a Supreme Court justice, huh? You know, you never know who's, who's going to be in there when the important decisions uh, get made. Well, that's a lifetime appointment. His, uh, his appointment at Kentucky was supposed to be lifetime. The last yeah. contract that you got, you got to think if they renovate Bud Walton this time, next time, it'd be a, it'd be a whole new building, you know, down the street. So that might be, might be the way the building is for 20 years. That's a good point. Yeah. Get his opinion. Please, please don't make it too corporate. It's all I say. Don't, don't lose. I mean, you don't lose some of the, that that's the, that's the home court advantage right there is, is the, the atmosphere. If you lose, if you dial down the atmosphere, you're going to lose a little bit of that. All right, we got the callers lined up. Let's get to him. Charlie's up first. He's on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Good afternoon, Charlie. What's new? Well, you know what's new. Well, nothing is really new, uh, Phil, for me. But, yeah, definitely for uh, Arkansas, a lot of things are new. Right now, it is rainy, it is cold, and I'm over it. So, I'll tell you that. Uh, hopefully, you guys don't get too much. Y'all, y'all, Are y'all clear of sunny skies today? What's it looking like up there? What's it outside that window? I see. I, I can't see the sky, but I can see outside the window of the studio, and there's a dog walking around on grass in the sun. That's my outdoor report for to. you. I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> okay. You don't even have to say. We're not going to release that on the air. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I would say this about what you guys were talking about earlier. What a heck of a job by UConn last night. I mean, it reminded me a little bit of when Mush uh, kind of used that similar game plan against Kentucky and Florida a few years back. They were just like, you know what? If Sheway and Castleton go off on us, that's fine. What a job, Matt. You said it. Being able to run those guys off the three-point line and say, no, nah, ain't, y'all ain't even going to get more than seven attempts up there. And they only made one. So what a heck of a job by UConn and their game plan. And that's where – you know, that's why I loved Must the most was his ability to create game plans and his preparation. And I, I'm hoping that Calipari, you know, the thing with him is I know he's an unbelievable motivator. I know he's an unbelievable recruiter. You know, I, I know all that. But hopefully uh, he can come in here with a, with a fresh start and uh, maybe hire some, you know, I don't know what all he's going to put on his staff, but understanding that, you know, what has happened, since what, 2019, I think you said, Matt? They got out of the second round. Am I right about that? At Kentucky? That's right. Am I saying that right, Phil? That's right. Okay. Well, I mean, and, that, and, and you know, anything can happen here. I mean, you know, we know he's going to bring the talent in. And, you know, Cal is one of those guys, like, I know all the Arkansas fans were cheering when he was 
you know, getting getting into it with the refs and everything. But now I, I feel like he'll win this fan base over quickly because I also think he's a good talker too. And, and, and you know, Matt, if you had some concerns, obviously, you know, I just kind of pointed out a few of mine. Do you have any other concerns with him? You know, obviously his age a little bit. If you play devil's advocate, but obviously he is the biggest hire we've ever had, I think, personally, in any of our three major sports. Uh, you know, when you just think about it. Anyways, y'all have a good one. I mean, you've been bringing up the up-and-comers in so many ways <laughs> uh, when it comes to hiring coaches, I guess. Um, this, isn't, this isn't the same thing, but, you know, you hired uh, Bobby Petrino after he'd been successful in Louisville and coming in from the NFL, that's a different kind of a splash hire because he didn't won at the same level that Cal has won in, in college basketball, you know, the very highest level. You know, so much of it is based on relationships, and he's he's got a lot of people in the NBA. I mean, he's coached a lot of guys. What Did you say 30% of the NBA All-Stars were Kentucky guys? That's right. It's – um. So that's that's a good thing. His relationship with players and being able—I mean, I think he's the the thing that I like about Coach Calipari's teams, and and I know the success. It's tough, man. It's tough to win. It it, it really is. But they're athletic. I like. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have a chance if you have athletes. Then it's then it's about buying in. Uh, it's it's about playing defense, being there, being accountable. You know. Then it comes to some of the psychology psych, psychology of it because he's gonna get athletes. Uh, and, and then it's just, Hey, conveying this message to them. And, and, and if they buy into it, uh, when you have the athletes, you got a chance. I wonder about like the end result for each of these kids. And when they decide to go play for John Calipari, why are you going to play there? And he has talked openly about, well, we get more second contracts in the NBA than any other program in college basketball. And, and, you know, a kid is going to go play for John Calipari in some cases because, of that idea and because of what's in the future in the NBA. But what about while you're there? What about winning while you're there? Winning at the highest level while you're there? You know, I mean, there, you, you can do two things at once. You, you, can, you can work towards getting to the NBA and, 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 and win while you're there at the same time at the highest level. Let's take a phone call from Cecil. He's on the McClard Daniel hotline. Cecil, what's going on? Hey, guys. Man, listen, um, I just had a few words to say, but I think I, I'm going to say a few more. I know I have a lot of time. But the first uh, three words I want to say is, um, I think it's three words, is thank you much. And things happen for reasons. Things fall in place. He left, and then we get the best coach uh, hands down. I'm 59 years old, and, uh, I mean, you know, I know Ron Brewer. We're from Allen Grove Projects. And it's, since I've been watching sports, I, and for basketball, um, up at the University of Arkansas, uh, Salisbury, all of them, Emily, way back in the days, Arkansas ain't never had a coach like this. This guy brings more than just coaching. He brings uh, uh, revenue. I mean, just whatever he does on the court, it's all about the dollar. It's about the bag. And he's a he, uh, 35, man, that's unheard of. Who, who's done that? Who will probably ever do that? again so i mean hey man i'm happy i know we're gonna get big man it's gonna be cbs prime time on the hill it's on and popping it's gonna be really hard to get a ticket um i think Corey got his daughter got one more year at uapb and i use his seats a lot and they right behind the bench so that'll be great <laughs> you just you just never know how it's gonna go but i i i, I don't know who, who this is what i'm really curious about Who's who's actually gonna be on the team from last year? That is, I'm scratching my head. I went to bed thinking about that, you know. But I know uh, he's out actually uh, bringing some of his players from from this team, uh, and then he's got recruits. So um, I've been kind of paying attention to it. I, I think everybody in America is paying attention to it, and that's just great for Arkansas. They paying a lot of money, but they're gonna get a lot of money out of this, a lot of revenue. And I'll hang up. And hey, hey, I didn't. I'm watching y'all live stream. I'm in my office doing some stuff, so I'm actually watching y'all too. So y'all have a blessed day. I'm smiling for you right tomorrow. now on camera. I don't do that very often on radio, but I'm smiling for you on camera right now. Um, how many Arkansas players could have played for Kentucky this last year, Matt? Oh, uh, Tremont Mark, no, no, no question about it. Um, you know, M Makai Mitchell had had some moments, man. He 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 was you know twenty. He's he's an older guy. What about the guys with eligibility? 
We mark Mark obviously one of them. Yeah. Went uh, into the portal the day b- after all this stuff started coming out. I'm I'm a the day before. The first call I'm calling if I'm Calafari, uh, you know, if Brazil doesn't want to play is is Landon Blocker and, and Tremont Mark. I mean, those are the first two guys I'm calling uh to see if they want to be Arkansas Razorbacks because you can play with those guys. See if they want to roll on the see, you know, and I, I'm sure his message is the same, but I'm a fan of of both those players. Uh, I don't know, you know, as far as we we got to get a true point guard, you know, got to get and then got to get some big guys. That's what that's what Calipari does. That's what Hunter Dickinson said. That the deciding factor, if it wasn't up to money, he was going to go play at Kentucky because of all the big men can, uh, Calipari's put into the NBA. Eight seven seven three seven seven sixty nine sixty three. When we come back, uh, we talk with Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation. Remember about Crabtree RV Center in Alma and serve in the River Valley in Northwest Arkansas for over 70 years. They'll help you find the right RV for your family's adventures. And if there's a breakdown, they've got the service and parts department on site. They've got everything you need in between at Crabtree RV. They're online at CrabtreeRV.com. Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation next on Halftime. This is Halftime. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the Fence Man was my first call. The Fence Man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the Fence Man does it. The Fence Man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. A dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakhalin. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappies. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakhalin, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Pet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. 
Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference. Make sure to follow Halftime on Twitter at Hit That Line AR and on Facebook and Instagram at Hit That Line. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to Halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. We'll go to the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Time to talk with Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation. Always appreciate her time on a Tuesday. Alyssa, any news worth breaking? Do we know of any announcement? Do we know of any press conference? Because the questions keep coming in on the text line. Yeah, you know, I, I, I know that Arkansas fans are starting to get impatient. I understand that. Um, you know, I just, I, I think I want to tell people to still be patient and everything is going to be just fine. Sounds good enough to me. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. good enough to wait. Sometimes these th- things happen really quickly, and sometimes they might take a couple of days. Maybe it's just a couple of days aspects of things. Um, your reaction to the news, what do you think? Sure. So when I heard it for the first time, um, you know, I was, wow, wow. Wait, what? You know, is I think that was everyone's reaction. But the more that I've been able to sit down and think about it, um, I like the move. And I think it honestly benefits both parties. Um, you know, if, if you had to take off my shoes and, and step into Cal's shoes, you look at a place where, you know, maybe I, things aren't the friendliest right now at, at Kentucky, and, and I just don't feel as welcome here anymore. Um, now I have an opportunity to go to Arkansas and, and make more money in the long run instead of Kentucky possibly firing me next year. Uh, and now I have to hit a refresh button, and, and I can go to a place that I know has the passion and the fan base to support their basketball team, and everyone knows that the Razorbacks are the team in the sport, so you have that too, and, you know, it's just kind of a refresh. And then if you look at it with Kentucky, if you're kind of pulsing the Kentucky fan base right now, they get to hit reset also and go find somebody else that can come in and, and take over their program, and, you know, they, they've been very vocal over there on the radio with the fans of just, you know, being a little bit, underwhelmed with Cal over the years, these past couple of years, not making it out of the first weekend of the NCAA tournament. And, um, you know, so it, it, it feels like a smart move. Uh, and for Arkansas to do this, I really feel like this is exactly what this basketball team needed. And, and you've now got an opportunity with, with a name that automatically brings attention. I mean, Jacob and I were talking about it. He said yesterday, I, I fell asleep. I was exhausted. Um, by about 8.30 last night. So I didn't even watch any of the national championship game. And we were talking about it this morning. He said that the, the odds for next year's national championship came out. And Arkansas, I think, has the 14th best odds, according to, to Vegas. And they don't have a player on the roster that's on scholarship. <laughs> that's that's, that's ca- the Cal effect. <laughs> that, man, how exciting uh, is it to – yeah, I mean, it's so <laughs> exciting for, for Arkansas Razorback basketball. And that's kind of the question I was going to ask you to, to stay in the same division as your football team. Aaron Rodgers shows up to 
the New York Jets. It's no rebuild. It's win now. And so what is our yeah. expectations for this Arkansas team? It's it's win now, right? Well, you hope that you cannot, uh, you know, tear an Achilles. Right. That's what you right. hope for. Yeah, because yeah, you do win now, right? Yeah, it was until until he got hurt. So, I mean, that's exactly what it looks like is you, you expect Calipari to come in here and build a roster that can win immediately and and not be like, okay, well, you know, we, we were seeing a little bit of them scratching the surface in year one. It's no, we're coming in here and we're not only competing uh, for the SEC, we're competing for national championships. We're making runs in March. That's what you expect. That's what you're paying him for. Um, and I know that those conversations, I'm sure, were had behind the scenes when all of this started working. Is this exactly is this is exactly what we need? We don't have time for a rebuild. We need uh, winning, and we need it now. And so I think that's the expectation. But I also think, you know, if if you're Calipari, you also say, you know, there's um, there's a renewed love here, and maybe in a renewed energy for him too. That 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 he was missing out on after so many years at Kentucky. That he feels the same way that he can come in here and get the job done just as everyone believes he can because they hired him. Do we get a billionaire per sport up there to be a benefactor? You know, doesn't, wouldn't that be nice? Football can get themselves yeah, a billionaire right? benefactor. Nice? Right. I mean, that's the going thought. That's yeah. what that's what everybody outside the state or even inside the state thinks. Well, they got all the Walmart money. Look at all the Tyson money. Look at all the J.B. Hunt money and all of that. No, none of that stuff has ever been applied in the way that this is being applied. You know, it, it's a, well, it's a new thing. That- it is, but I also think that it speaks to, you know, again, to, to make sure everyone's on the same page here. This is John Tyson's money. This is not Tyson chicken money. This is John Tyson money, and there's a big difference. Um, so I hope people can see that, that John is, is spending his own money on what he chooses to spend it on. And if he wanted to spend it before, he didn't because he didn't want to spend it. And you take that for what you want. But now he feels like spending it. And so that's the message that John Tyson is putting out there. And, you know, and Jerry Jones has done a lot for the university and put the money when he wanted to with the statue of the, the, the wild band of hogs up by the football stadium and the performance center for the student athletes on campus. And um, they will put their money, their own money, where they want to. And we're seeing it right now where it looks like, you know, Johnny Tyson was just like, all right. I, I am 100% confident in putting my money into a man that I've known for a really long time that I trust and that I trust to put a good product on the basketball court. Do you So so Calipari, do you think he gets 100% um, as far as control for who, whoever the players is he's going after? You know, does John Tyson get any say in, in, in who the money's getting offered to? Or do you, when I, you hire Calipari, is it to, we're going to give you it and, and you get 100% control? I, I bet that it is. You know, I, I, I don't necessarily, you know, think that there's going to be that kind of control behind the scenes um, because I think there's just trust, and that's what it goes back to, is trusting that 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 Calipari is going to be able to um, put the money where it's needed the most and, and, and be able to separate it, spread it around, give it out to where he feels it is uh, going to be best because you're kind of or used or for what you're, you're kind of essentially a GM as well, right? Like I was, is, is there yeah. anybody else who's going to help him evaluate talent or is it just all, all on him being the GM and the coach? Oh, I'm sure that he'll have guys in his corner, right? Like he, they, those guys always have support staffs who are completely, you know, always behind the scenes doing all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really curious. Like the next thing guys for us is like who he brings with him from a coaching standpoint and from a support staff standpoint, uh, you know, I believe his son was with Vanderbilt and, and was somewhere else, but, you know, he could bring his son with him as well. Like, who is going to be on his staff here at Arkansas? And then from there, it's like, okay, well, who's in kind of in charge of what? And, you know, nowadays this was never a thing before, but like maybe you do have like an NIL strategist and he is on your staff now and that's the person who kind of is like the business side of things of like, this is where, you know, he's like the CFO of the men's basketball program to determine kind of where money is best spent. I'd, I'd read, I think it was KSR that, was, that had basically said all the, all the money decisions at Kentucky basketball went through Cal as to where, who was getting what. Yeah. And, and, he gets and that final kind of say thing. So, yeah. But like, so NIL is such a big part of this. There's the, there's the money that, that Mr. Tyson is paying Cal, or at least given to the university to pay him. I don't know how that works. But the NIL that goes 
that goes along with it. But that also goes against the other message that's coming out from the university's arm of NIL, which is, hey, we need your $50 a month. Hey, we need your $100 a month. And that you have a billionaire that is taking however much money it is, five or $6 million. And I've seen reports both ways. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. that, that's maybe a lifetime of earnings for me. I don't know what that means for Mr. Tyson, but it's a heck of a lot different than we need your $50 a month. We need your hundred dollars a month. What this tells me is there's two ways to do it. And if you can convince a billionaire to put his money towards it, that helps a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the, well you got to raise money two ways in bulk or in, you know, many installments, right? You know, um, how, how, which one's the best way? Well, I don't know if there is a best way. It's just, you know, money is where it's money is now. Big lump sum is great. Um, but that supports the basketball team. And you still have to work around everybody else and every other athlete and every other sport except for basketball um, with, with NIL, too. So you almost have to, like, please both worlds. you got to love the guys with the big pocketbooks, and you also have to show that same love and respect for the guy who says, okay, you know what, I can give you 25 bucks a month. Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a Ronnie Brewer fan. Is is there a chance you think he stays on staff? Does anybody get held over uh, from this from this Coach Musselman staff? Yeah. I I think so. Um, I always feel like you know, regardless, you should always have one, right? right because right. it's it's a pulse of 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 um of like just the university, how things were like, even like I don't know, this is kind of funny, but like, where's the bathroom? Oh, the bathroom's over here. <laughs> it's like, like, where are things located? Um, and, and I think that Ronnie has a lot of respect as a former player. And I don't know if this says anything, but Ronnie's been following a lot of, uh, you know, Kentucky guys, former players, what not have you on social media. So maybe that's a tip off. Interesting. Is there anything else happening in Razorback athletics right now? I mean, like anything There's else? There's a baseball game tonight, Phil. Oh, Come yeah. On. I and I you gotta... know what? Baseball's still number one and it's still just like, uh, hello, baseball's still happening. That's Softball's right. still happening. Yeah, I did a little prep on this on this gymnastics. upcoming game. Well, the gymnastics thing I wanted to ask about. I mean, this is so current. cool. How many teams are left? Um, so two came out of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Can't believe you made me do math on the spot. But yeah, eight. <laughs> uh, I thought you just have the answer, you know, right at the edge of your tongue. Um, I had to, I had to, y'all would laugh at me. I had to close my eyes, visualize what that bracket looked like, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where, where, where is the, where are the gymnastics championships, and what are the chances to to pull this off? Sure. So you know this, the way that this works is they're now all in Fort Worth, and it's it's very similar to the way that the regionals were in Fayetteville, where the first day um, everyone will compete, and they'll be you know the A session and the B session, and then the top two teams out of each session will move on to the finals finals. So now there's like semifinals and then the finals finals, you know, Thursday, then Saturday, like it was for regionals. And then so the top four teams out of day one will move on to the finals on day two, and then a national champion will be crowned on that day. I believe that's for teams. I believe individually, you know, because there are individuals who – qualified as well outside of their teams like Lauren Williams and Nora Flatley did a season ago on the vault and on the beam. And I think that um, those national champions individually are crowned and your all around is crowned on that first day. I think that's how that works. Okay. Well, it's exciting. I mean, it's yeah. the first time in a long time. <laughs> it first is. Time it under is. Coach it's the first Weaver. time in a long time since they've gone as a team. And I know that that's that goal, but again, it's, it's the trajectory and the vision that Jordan Weber's had um, since she got here. And, and, you know, obviously for Hunter to see that potential in her as a head coach to move the program forward, um, it's really, really exciting. All right, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there. Alyssa, appreciate you. Maybe see it bomb sometime today or tomorrow, okay? Yeah, let's hope so. I hope so. Well, I think we're good for tonight. Tomorrow <laughs> might be another. Might be another story. All right, it's Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation with us each Tuesday on Halftime. We'll open the McClarty Daniel hotline for your phone calls if you want to get on. 877-377-6963. Back in just a moment. 
You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Listen anytime and anywhere on your favorite mobile device. Just search Hit That Line now. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas' 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000. And construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. At Red River Dodge, not only do we have new vehicles, but we also have top quality pre-owned, all the way from your big rig trucks to your luxury class SUVs. Are you needing to trade in a used vehicle? That's no problem. Here at Red River Dodge, we give top dollar for your trade-in. Whatever it is you're needing, here at Red River Dodge, we have it. Give us a call today at 501-362-5831 or visit us on the web at redriverdodge.com. And don't forget, folks, we deliver. This is halftime. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. Really worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Arkansas football is back inside Razorback Stadium on Saturday, April 13th as they host the 2024 Red-White Spring Football Game. This free event kicks off at noon and gives you a chance to get a first-hand look at the new-look Razorbacks as they head into the 2024 season. Free family fun begins at 9 a.m. with Hogtown in Lot 44. That includes live music, a car show, pregame pep rally, and much more. Full details, visit ArkansasRazorbacks.com. When you need legal help, turn to the law offices of Craig L. Cook. With over 40 years combined experience, the Cook Law Team works for you. If you've been injured in an auto accident, hurt on the job, a victim of nursing home negligence, or need help with bankruptcy, social security, wills, trusts, estates, or family law issues, Craig Cook will go to work for you. Call us today, 479-783-8000. The law offices of Craig L. Cook with locations in Arkansas and Oklahoma. We work for working people. Are you looking for a great deal on a previously owned vehicle but want to avoid high pressure sales? If so, you need to visit Edwards Auto Sales in Roland. For over 30 years, Ernie Edwards and his staff have helped folks from Arkansas and Oklahoma River Valley buy a quality vehicle and offer a buy here, pay here program as part of their services. Some restrictions may apply. Come visit Edwards Auto Center newly remodeled facility three miles west of the Garrison Bridge, the first car dealer on your right, or log on at edwardsautosalesinc.com. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch. Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics. Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> with the never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Call your local shelter agent, Chris Dooley, at 479-646-6792. Remodeling your bathroom? Don't let your imagination be limited by out-of-the-box shower doors or tub enclosures. Arkansas Glass & Mirror is your local source for all things glass, including plexiglass glass mirrors and shower doors since 1964 arkansas glass and mirror has more selections better prices and the experience to help you build a shower of your dreams they also have the only showroom in the area to help you create those dreams professional installation and professional service only at arkansas glass and mirror 1316 south zero fort smith or online at arkansas glass and mirror.com your home for every razorback football basketball and baseball game espn 95.3 <laughs> Well, they ran into a great big castle. Billy Joe shot them out of 
fish that's a Bobby Smith, you don't want to give up. Welcome back to Halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Got a question or comment for the guys? Call or text on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Let's get back to the show with the voice of Arkansas Razorback baseball, Phil Elson, and Razorback football legend, Matt Jones. Matt, you ever run into a uh, problem in El Paso, Texas? Just take the money and run. I ran into a problem. In El pa- I was actually, it was Juarez, Juarez, Mexico, which is probably a little more of a problem than you can run into in El Paso. Got out of there, though. I left, did, did make it out. Left in my wallet and my old house key. I don't want people thinking I'd steal. <laughs> I left my wallet in El Segundo, too. Uh, 877-377-6963. For calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. We got Terry from Alma who is on the hotline right now. It sounds like he's on the road somewhere. Terry, what's going on? Oh, hell, just traveling down Georgia Ridge here in Clark County. But first of all, Phil, got to tell you, you're one of the best baseball commentators there is in the nation. And appreciate you being an Arkansas baseball you know, well, I, I appreciate that very much, Terry. Thank you very much. Hey, I got a question here. Uh, you know, they're talking about the dominoes falling in the coaching carousel. All right, who's, after Cal Perry signs with Arkansas, who's going to be the first big player that signs with Arkansas and says, I'm going to be an Arkansas Razorback and let the dominoes fall from there? That's true. I mean, that's some of the dominoes to, to, to wonder. I like Dillingham. I know he doesn't play very good defense, but the dude's a bona fide scorer. He's not ready for the NBA. I mean, I, I'd look at two or three people off that Kentucky team. I, I think there will be at least two or three guys follow from from Kentucky. I, I mean, I would have I, the first place I would look to is 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 the roster that he already coached and the kids that he had coming in. Those are relationships that are already built. Uh, there's trust there, um, and and then and then you're looking at who's in the portal now, and I don't I don't know everybody that's in the portal now, so it's fast moving situation. Hey, there may be some folks out there that are thinking, you know what, I wanted to play for John Calipari, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it there. Maybe I'll go play for him over here. Try something else. Blake and Harrison next up on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Blake, what's going on? Hey, going good, guys. How are y'all this afternoon? Good, thank you. Good. Uh, just wanted to ask a question uh, regarding the run rule in baseball. Shoot. Uh, I can understand uh, maybe TV has a lot to do with it. And on a weekend series when you're playing in the SEC and have to save your pitchers, things like that. But just didn't know if y'all thought it maybe cheats out some of the guys that don't get a lot of playing time to, to have a few extra innings to get some uh, time on the field to, to be able to play and get used to, to being out there. Yeah, I mean, I understand where you're coming from here, and I think that's exactly the way that the uh, that Arkansas views it now is they would rather not have a run rule so that they could get kids to pitch who really haven't had a chance to pitch on the weekends. But on the on the losing end, sometimes those kids that you throw, it just ends up being worse than 10 runs, you know, and then it becomes 15, 16, 17 runs, and that's not good for, that's not good for anybody. I don't know if TV is the reason why they've done uh, the 10-run rule. <clears throat> But I also think they wanted to do what they can to make sure that there aren't. Um, I, I think it's a length of game kind of a thing. But they still, at least college baseball hasn't done. Now, Major League Baseball doesn't do the 10 run rule, but they do, uh, you know, b- banning shifts and pickoff throws to hell the two and everything. And they're not doing that in college baseball just yet. Not just yet. All right. Let's see. People, People are trying to text in saying they've got breaking news about this and that uh there's a plane that's leaving drake people think is heading to kentucky to go pick him up right now it's uh we we have our plane trackers it's it's done it's just yeah i i wouldn't uh wouldn't worry too much about it it's gonna happen it's gonna it's gonna happen in the next uh this is an announcement that has to happen at bud walton like this doesn't happen this happens inside your your big building this happens inside the basketball building. This has to be a big deal that's going on right now. They're probably setting up for it. They just had gymnastics uh, regional at, at inside. That's a big breakdown. And you, I could just sort of picture 
15 rows of seats, the chair backs, um, maybe the seats that are on Gucci row are kind of brought out there, put a big pipe and curtain set up. Gonna get- have all the players out there with you supporting the coach, <laughs> <laughs> all your team. Hey, these are my guys. Just have, yeah. play, just have Lawson over there like, yeah, ready to play for it. <laughs> Yeah, to play these my guys it. can't wait can't wait to coach this group of guys so excited that's that's what it's been like before is they've had the team out there to cheer him on when he walks in it would it would it would be a very quiet moment very quiet moment it's like yeah, what was remember when Sam Pittman took the job as the head coach for football he walked into the to the meeting room and told all the players well you guys you guys might not have chosen me but I chose you there is no moment like that with Cal. There, there is no, there is no moment with, like that at all. But if you're like him, though, you, you're 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 walking into a place where you now get to just put your imprint on it. Like Kentucky's imprint, he put his imprint on Kentucky. But yeah, you get the you get the sense that you get you get this is the kind of thing that's good for everybody involved is is a, at least the way that i view it. there's also reports by the way that calipari ksr has reported this calipari and it is perry not pari calipari went to mitch barnhart and said this is the offer arkansas has can you make a counter offer and apparently was told there is no counter offer now that's coming from kentucky sports radio i doubt that who knows I know, but I think they're just just trying. They're just salty. I think it's both. Both ads did it. Did a great job. What What was Musselman's buyout a mill, and then Cal's was a z, was zero this year. So I mean, it was that's just, for him leaving. That's for he doesn't have to pay anything to them for leaving. Yeah, USC's paying the buyout for yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the Hogs get him get a cool mill from that. Don't have to pay a buyout to get to get Cal. I mean, I could I could see that conversation happening. Absolutely. If they didn't, if they, if, if one reason why you're not going to make the change is a, is a $33 million buyout. And that's kind of what felt like made it a quote unquote lifetime contract. We, by the way, we did see a coach get fired and get handed. How much did Jimbo get for his buyout? Oh my goodness. Right. Yeah. Football's, I guess a different thing though, isn't it? The. The, you know, if you keep Ronnie Brewer, uh, it seems like that's that's in. And then I, I thought it was very intriguing what Alyssa said, um, you know, that he's followed a couple of the former players. And so I, I'm not going to delve into that. Uh, you know, that's for other people with more time to, to, to do. But that's those are probably the guys you're, you're looking at that uh, that could be coming over. You got to have some. But do you need somebody now that knows what it's like to be a Razorback? We, we talk about the importance of having kids that at least know what it's like what the Razorbacks mean do we do you need that now yeah I don't I don't think I think every time you lose kids in the state you you lose a little bit and then you got to try to go back it takes a while to go back and 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 get it back um Brewer, Brewer's a guy that knows the state I mean he's well respect I mean he d- dude one of the smartest players not just football or basketball that I played with had and just on the court his his basketball IQ is just was so high he's 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 tremendous well then he'd be he'd also be there next to Lawson Blake cheering on Calipari when they when the when it's press conference time he can be a part of that too but but the the way he played in the league for a while you know you have um oh Jason Richardson's sons uh is 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 coming out uh you're seeing um you know some some his his age group of of guys that he has relationships with uh are coming out you might be able to get some of them. I I can believe that that Mitch Barnhart would not make would decline to make a counter offer if it's at the place where felt like that relationship was and if it really is the kind of thing that if you say that this is good for all parties involved and believe it then I can also believe that look maybe he has to go and tell him I have an offer maybe it's in the contract I don't know maybe he has to go tell the athletic director of Kentucky I have an offer and you have to counter offer or I'm supposed to say now you make a counter offer and he says no well, knowing full well at that point if the relationship was broken, that there isn't going to be a counteroffer. 
Well, and I think on both sides, you look at Kentucky, if they made a Final Four, if they let's say they'd made two Final Fours in the last five years, he would he would have a count. He would have an extension. He'd still be there. Same thing with Muss. If, you know, Muss would have made a Final Four uh, two years ago with that group. He, he'd still be here. What if this year's team would have done anything remotely like we expected? Sweet 16, Elite Eight. Or now that you're looking back at things, you know that there's no chance that that would have happened anyway. So it's a fantasy land to try to say this. It's the whole idea that winning cures cures all ills. You know, personalities conflict and everything. Winning cures all ills. Helps people get along. Grease is the grease is the rails of relationships. But winning in March is the thing that really does it. Getting to March first, right? They didn't get to March this year at Arkansas. They got to March at Kentucky and looked like they had a little momentum until until choking in the first round of the SEC tournament, and then the exact same thing happens in in the NCAA tournament to a lesser team, too. I want to see the date uh, when Arkansas hosts the Kentucky Wildcats in basketball next year. Do we get them twice like we've been getting them? I hope so. we got to have a return match as well, Um, but that's going to be be must-see. That's going to be pretty. That's going to be fun. This is the last basketball coach that left this that left a, an SEC program to go to another SEC program. Has there been one that I could that, that that's happened while we've been well last five years? I can't think of anybody. I really can't. Was Bruce Pearl a Tennessee coach and then coach at Auburn? He but was he took but a there, gap year, right? There was a gap in between. Yeah. He got fired from Tennessee. He yeah. didn't leave to go that's there. The, that's the last one I can think of. You're Bruce Pearl. Do you listen to Kentucky? He's got a Bruce good Pearl thing not going, going at Auburn, yeah, man. They're not they're not gonna go. Get that's the same thing like what Nate Oates has here. You've got this great thing going at Alabama. Not the same facilities, not the same kind of uh financial support, but they're probably leaning on that now. Now that you have more Alabama's got more momentum in basketball than Kentucky does. Do you go if you're Nate Oates? He already said no. Okay, okay. He said he's staying. But do you? It's like that's the challenge of all challenges. Isn't Kentucky one of those jobs like UCLA, uh, UConn, it comes up? I kind of put Michigan on that level, even though they've – I don't know what they're that's doing. Cause, that's because you've got a thing for the Fab Five. You, I just, it's, it's like Florida football. You, you, all, I always think Florida football should be better than what they are. And I'm, I always, it's always just, there's so much talent in the state of Florida. But when Florida, when the Florida Gators do, do when they do not have a quarterback, it's just weird. You're like, how do y'all <laughs> not have a quarterback, man? Like, you think of all the quarterbacks that Rex Grossman, Danny Warfel, I mean, just Tim Tebow, Chris Leak, all the quarterbacks Florida has that can win. And then, who, who who do y'all have now? Yeah, we have textures reminding us that Mike White left Florida for Georgia basketball. There you go. Yeah, I think they. I think that the Florida program had taken a little bit of a dip under him, and that was an a, an opportunity to kind of escape that. And if you're in Florida, where you've won back to back national titles under Billy Donovan, then there's the expectations that you can get there. Has anybody ever confused Georgia basketball with expectations? Well, I was going to say Florida, man, Bradley, Bill, Corey Brewer, Joe King, Noah, Al Horford. I mean, that's just me. I mean, that's they put guys, David Lee, they put so many guys in the NBA. Mike White, Florida to Georgia was a step down Georgia. in the same conference. Yeah, Georgia, I go Dominique Wilkins, and that was, that was a long time ago. This is taking, this is the idea of taking the biggest step up because truthfully, even though what, what Pearl has going at Auburn and what Oates has going at Alabama, it is a step up to Kentucky because of the craze of what college basketball, not college basketball, what Kentucky Wildcats basketball means there. 877-377-6963 calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. We're back to wrap up the second hour right after this. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster and in the past decade as a roofing contractor. He knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. 
Hello, this is Sebastian County Assessor Zach Johnson here to remind you to assess your personal property by May 31st to avoid late penalty. You can do this in person at one of our three locations, over the phone, or online by going to www.countyservice.net. I would also like to remind any current homeowners or individuals buying their homes on contract to contact our office and check on your eligibility for the Homestead Tax Credit. Contact us today to see if you qualify. The Homestead Tax Credit can save you up to $425 off of your tax bill. This ad, sponsored by Sebastian County Assessor and paid for by Amendment 7. Why do people love Shamrock Liquor Warehouse? Simple. They've got it all. 70 years in business, 15,000 square feet of choices. They buy in volume so you can save. What else? How about the largest selection of everything? Shamrock's got it. Special orders? Shamrock's got it. Convenient drive through open six days a week? Shamrock's got it. Need a keg for your party? Shamrock's got it. Load up at Shamrock Liquor Warehouse at the corner of Midland and Riverfront Drive in Fort Smith. Can you explain the infield fly rule? Neither can I, but I can help you navigate a variety of legal issues from divorce to personal injury to estate planning. I'm Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions, a new law firm offering affordable flat fees with payment plans available. You get an ace at the price of a minor leaguer. Now that sounds like a grand slam to me. Call Mock Legal Solutions for your free consultation. 479-769-1505. Real advice, reasonable price. Flu vaccines, both regular and high dose for seniors, are now available at Law's Drug Store in Fort Smith. Call 452-6116 to schedule your shot appointment. Usually there is no cost when covered by your insurance. Law's Drug has COVID vaccines, RSV vaccines for ages 60 plus. Pneumonia and tetanus shots are also available. Law's Drug Store, 6802 Rogers Avenue behind Outback Steakhouse. Law's Drug Store, open six days a week to safely care for you and your family. Now is a great time to start your career at Simmons. For a limited time, we're offering up to a $15,000 hiring bonus for maintenance techs, including electricians and refrigeration techs. Simmons offers vacation matching, a 401k plan, and premium health care for team members and their families through our care clinics at no additional cost. Learn more at worketsimmons.com or stop by the Fort Smith Hiring Center at 4900 Rogers Avenue, Suite 103 in Fort Smith. Find out more about the $15,000 hiring bonus and start getting paid sooner with same-day hiring options. We look forward to seeing you. Tired of constant computer issues at work? And who knows what the real problem is? Is it the router? No, it's the hardware. Wait, they said it was the software. Call Hashtech Managed IT Services. Their multifaceted approach to IT support guarantees that everything is working at optimum performance. And Hashtech prevents the small problems from becoming big issues. Hashtech Managed IT Services in Van Buren. 479-802-4978. That's 479-802-4978. Hashtech Technology Without the Headache. Before you buy that next car or truck, stop by Broadway Motors in Van Buren. The best of the best for two straight years. Michael and his team offer the best prices on the best quality pre-owned vehicles in the River Valley. They invite you to stop by and check it out for yourself. Or if you prefer to check out their inventory online or even do your financing online. Michael has built his reputation as a husband, father, and owner-operator since 2006. Broadway Motors, 806 Broadway in Van Buren or online at broadwaymotorsar.com. It's your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Baby's in the front around. Put your business in the street. Saying the bar is sitting down. I'm too darn fair. I swear she must believe it's all hell to say. You better bring the ship around. To the sad, sad, the dirty low down. Come back into halftime live from the Crabtree RV Studios. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we make your dreams come true. Good time for a phone call. I think we do. Go to the McClarty Daniel hotline, and Rich is in Cave Springs, though he's a Kentucky fan, apparently. Rich, hey, thanks for the phone call. What's up? No problem, man. Big Kentucky fan. I always have been. Arkansas is my second favorite, but uh, four kids gone there. But you were talking about this contract, and Calipari's contract was pretty much about as one savage as you could be. Kentucky paid all the payout. All Calipari was responsible for is before you talk to any other team about another job, 
you've got to let the AD know. And that's all you had to do. Uh, I think it's a win-win for both schools. Kentucky and Cal, the marriage was over. He did a great job for 10 years. In the last five, 53 more coaches have, 53 coaches have won more NCAA tournament games than him. And we've just won one SEC tournament game in those five years. So the marriage was over. Uh, but I think it'll be great for Cal to get reinvigorated to come to Arkansas. And I think uh, Kentucky, I mean, most of the boosters have left the basketball program at Kentucky. But, you know, it's hard to last 16 years anywhere as a coach. Rich, so you're saying that they that those boosters left the program because of the coach? That's that's the word on the uh, in Kentucky, and uh, I think you know he was the best, and he will be here. You know, great again, not getting people, but once he won his national championship, in my opinion, he's like, okay, I don't need anybody else. Ooh. And you know, the Joe Craft Center, which is their basketball facility, uh, the guy that donated that, he is not donating the penny to basketball anymore. And the biggest biggest donor in Kentucky, he puts all of his money in football now. Was it lack of talent? You know, was he not able to get the right guys? What do you think happened the last five years? Well, it's a mixture of talent, and uh, he lost his coaches. John Robick was probably uh, okay. the best XO coach he ever had, and Kenny Payne was his best. Hey, I want to make everybody feel good on the team. You mm-hmm. know, he goes off on him. I just think you know, and it's hard. COVID. COVID's changed a lot because you got guys playing at 26, 25, 24 against 18-year-olds, and you guys know there's a big difference how you are at 18 and how you're at 24, 25. And that's starting to get filtered out, too. Losing your assistant coaches are tough, though. It's it's tough to go out and get get the right assistants back. Hey, Rich, we're right up against the top of the hour break. We'll have to leave it there. Appreciate your call, man. Thank you. All right, see you guys. Oh, you can uh, get on with us as well, 877-377-6963 for calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Um, in the last hour of halftime, Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio joins us. We'll get um, the uh, outside the state perspective on this big basketball hire at Arkansas and um, your calls and texts as we continue to take up until 2 o'clock. Still no announcement, and who knows if it will happen in the next 60 minutes or so. But if it does, we'll let you know as well. Halftime is right back. The largest used car sales event in Fort Smith history. The inventory liquidation event at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Seven days only. Harry Robinson has over 500 vehicles deeply discounted. State sales tax paid on every used car. No payments for 90 days. Plus, bring your trade because nobody pays more than Harry Robinson. The inventory liquidation event. Extended hours through Monday. Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. We work to design an insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter Insurance ranked number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region five out of the last six years by J.D. Power. Satisfied customers and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? For J.D. Power award information, visit jdpower.com awards. See Agent Jason Hill in Greenwood or Agent Wade Gilkey in Fort Smith. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your home, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. Sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. We're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still in the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. At Southern Tire Mart, we look out for you and your vehicle. Come visit us for America's most trusted brands like Michelin Tires and top-of-the-line service. You can depend on Southern Tire Mart and Michelin Tires to keep you rolling. Come see us at Southern Tire Mart, just off I-540, exit 14 in Fort Smith, 
for Michelin tires that fit your needs and service that cares for you like family. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, occasional showers, a few thunderstorms, our high temperatures today will be into the upper 60s. We will see occasional showers, a few isolated thunderstorms tonight. The overnight low will drop down mid to upper 50s. And then occasional showers with a few thunderstorms on Wednesday, highs on Wednesday in the 60s. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grant Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. KERX Paris Fort Smith. This is Halftime, coming at you from the Crabtree RV Studios on ESPN 95.3. Coming to you live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios, broadcasting on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. We got a good one tonight. You got a team in here that we respect it. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Don't ask me if I'm all right. Well, he said Dominic, and we're not doing it. We're going to go get one and celebrate on somebody else's show. Well, Bill said you had very motivational words at halftime. It's halftime with Bill Olson and Matt Jones. From the bottom of my toes to the top of my head. I have zero respect for saying no ma at halftime. What's the name of one thing for back? It's vintage Matt Jones. Here we go. Right now, let's take the field out. Call or text on the McClarty Daniel hotline. 877-377-6963. Now, here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. Back on halftime, we're into our third and final hour. And uh, we have Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio coming up in a little bit, about 15 minutes. So if you want to get on with us, now is the time at 877-377-6963. There was a report, Dick Gabriel, a longtime Kentucky broadcaster, reported to Kentucky Sports Radio uh, that John Cal Calipari had asked Kentucky to counter the Arkansas offer, and Kentucky said no. We get some texts um, that if they believe that, and I, I, I don't know if that would happen or not. Who knows? Um, that if that is the case, it makes them a little bit nervous, uh, feeling like maybe Cal could have used Arkansas to get a raise, which might have happened with Chris Beard, might have happened with Jerome Tang. It's happened with other coaches in other sports too. But, hey, here's what I know. He's still coming here to be the coach. That's right. He's coming here to be the coach, not staying in Kentucky. So I, I, I don't think it's a guy that's um, leaving somewhere hoping that he would have stayed there because it really does feel like he got – Matt, is it, would it be accurate to say chased out? I just think you could see the writing on the, on the wall. You know, you, you're saying he, he had to show the AD his, his offer – and that's what Kentucky wanted. Kentucky probably, he, it's, it's like it's a win-win for everybody. You know, we use the term divorce with this so often. You know, maybe what the, rela- the, the point of that relationship was is that um, the two parties were already sleeping in separate rooms. Amy a same, cool. same house, separate rooms, separate bathrooms, s- amiable to a point. You could look each other in the eye and maybe time. share a meal. It was time. They, I think they both kind of knew. Uh, you, 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 and like we said, if, if, if Cal would have made a final four in the last three years, then, then this isn't going on, but it, um, the product, it, it, it wasn't up to par. It wasn't, it wasn't what they, what they're used to. Roscoe's in Fort Smith. He has called our McClarty Daniel hotline. Hey, Roscoe, how are you today? Hey guys, I'm doing really good. I got a couple of questions. Um, did all the basketball players that, or transferring, do they all leave, or did we did we keep any? Everyone's gone, except for Lawson Maybe. Blake, who's a walk on. That's the only one left. Well, I, I heard. Okay, well, I heard Mark and Brazil hadn't made the decision, but evidently they did. So, Mark okay. made his announcement on Sunday that he was entering the portal. Brazil made his announcement yesterday that he is entering the draft, hiring an agent, entering the draft. So that's 
You can't come back once you hire the agent, right? That's it. No more eligibility for Trevin Brazil. I thought I'd seen, I thought I heard Devo had still been in the facility. Uh, Sounds about right, though. I bet he's, he's a gym rat. He's I always mean, he's, in the gym. He's in, he's in the gym. I, I'm telling you, if if I, I'd be, I'd, I'd want to sit down with Devo. I mean, you've bat, you've had some battles with him. You know his game. You can't have too many guys coming back from the same team, all right? That that finished the game under, and you, know, you can't have too many of them back. Mark, maybe bat. Would you take Battle back? Yeah, Battle's a great player. Bat- Battle's awesome. Uh, there's there's a couple deficiencies in his game. Uh, so he's he's still a student. He's still young. He's still learning. I you can work with that man. He's he's a he's a bona fide scorer. Uh, you just want to kind of kind of get your attributes up a little bit, a, a couple ticks in, in some uh, some other areas of the game. Well, Kentucky apparently is not going to be getting uh, Dan Hurley. He said uh, Monday night plans to stay with the Huskies, and attempt to win a third straight national title. That, says he wants to win in he wants a dynasty in modern times. Phil, that team eat more than last year. They play five guys on that team. They don't. They, they don't play eight. It's not like you talk about guys coming back. Man, they didn't. They don't play. They're not very deep. I don't remember how many of those guys actually have eligibility left or not. But, but if you're looking to a place that's got a coach that is set and is safe and has established a winning culture and a school that cares about basketball ahead of anything else. <laughs> you, you you'd have you'd be hard pressed to find another one that's UConn, but what about this? You know the 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 fact that you're paying the basketball coach more than you're paying the football coach. Does that say anything about uh, the meaning of each sport on campus here? Because I mean, the it's, last time this happened, it was Nolan Richardson. And look, I'm not I'm not I'm not one to stand here and say. Well, because you pay him more, that means it's a basketball school. I just know basketball's had the national title. It feels like Arkansas is in a better place in basketball than it is in football. I mean, we still have to see what happens this next season. But it is it, I did not expect that, that Arkansas would be paying a basketball coach more than a football coach. Yeah, I, I think it shows, though, that if you win in football, they got the money to pay you. That's, you know, so if you, if you're, if you're in, and you don't get into coaching for the money, but it, it's nice when, when it comes, but if, if you win, if you win 10 games back to back years, I mean, they're going to, they're going to pay you. Let's take a phone call from Bob in Hartford, Arkansas. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Oh, doing fine. Uh, listen, my thoughts on the hiring of Cal, uh, in this, uh, society we're living in now with sports. What makes everybody think that, that he's going to be doing any better at Arkansas than he has at Kentucky the last few years? Well, he's a competitor, you know, and this this is his this is his last ride. I mean, he's he's 69 years old. Is that how old he, I don't want to add a, age to him. Uh, but he's he's getting up there. I mean, he's it's not like uh this he wants to, he, you know he's a competitor and wants to prove himself that he can he can win anywhere. Is he what he's been in the last five years, or is he what he's been throughout his entire career? Got to get the right assistance that's on safe, your staff. Is, is that, is have that the a, right team around him? But is that a fair question to ask? It's a guy that's built a team a very specific way while he's been at Kentucky, and. And it hasn't worked when it's needed to work in the last few years. The guy hasn't forgotten how to coach basketball. I think he can mold systems to whatever whatever the talent level on his team is, or you know whatever the strengths and weaknesses on his team are. Um, He's I, the I, ultimate I, motivator, right? Like that's one of the things is more than X's and O's. Isn't he more of a of a motivating coach? I I think so. That's how I kind of view Musk. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I view must too, Bob. I think I think the answer is 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 the the idea. Maybe maybe it's more maybe it's more hope. I mean, there's no facts behind the idea that he's going to come here and 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 win at a higher level in March than he's than he's won at Kentucky the last few years. It's got to be more. It's got to be hope more than anything else. I mean, Matt and I can sit here and say, yeah, he's got all the he'll have all the drive to succeed at a higher level. 
you know, revenge against the previous program, whatever. I mean, all these other reasons we can come up with. I think it's, I think it's just hope. And, and you have a guy with a track record of winning at an incredibly high level of three programs. There's a but. Winning, in, winning at UMass in the 90s is not the same at winning at Arkansas in, the, in 2024 and 2025. Winning in Memphis during the years he was there is not the same as winning at Arkansas right now. Even winning at Kentucky for his first five or six years in Lexington is not the same as success in the SEC now in March because of the differences of how you put a team together. Didn't he have? Yeah, I think that's that's really right. And uh, uh, you know, uh, with the one and done situation, the transfer portal, and everything else, it's just all totally different, and it's just going to be so impossible. Uh, people yesterday were saying, oh, you know, he's going to take us to the final four the first year and all this stuff. I just I, I just don't see it myself. All right, Bob. Appreciate the phone call. I, I, I think it'll work. I mean, I think, I think if you can – look, I think if you can win in the regular season, if you can win in January and February in the SEC – you can win in March in the SEC tournament and in whomever it is that you're playing afterwards. And it looks like C Unit has just shown me on John Calipari, Calipari's Twitter account a video. Is this his real Twitter account? I need you to verify that for me because we never know what's real now. Okay, is it really his? One point five million followers. That's his. All right, he's got a video there. A message to BBN is what it says. So it's starting to happen. If now his communication is going out to the to the Kentucky fan base, then there'll be other there'll be other sorts of communication coming from other folks sometime throughout the rest of this afternoon. Woo pig suey. Let's let's go. See, let's, and it's not just let's go baseball now. It's not just let's go baseball. I, I don't know. I'm pretty pretty excited uh, about the hire. Uh I, I think I mean you can always nit nick pick a little bit and 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 not like something, but man, he's uh He's a legend. He's a brand. He's uh, he's he's one of the I man. He's he's one of the dudes. If, if if you did a Mount Rushmore of college basketball coaches right now, is he not on your top four? I mean, is he not up there? I mean, I I I got him up there. And that's a matter of it's some people will look at it as what have you done for me lately? If you're looking through at the idea that he's already in is he's already in Springfield, right? He's in, I think he's a Hall of Famer. He, I don't know. I I haven't I haven't looked at his resume like that, but just the the longevity cuz cuz the the UMass stuff's been vacated, the Memphis stuff's been vacated. You know some of that stuff, so I don't know how it all how it all plays plays that way. But we all know it's like Reggie Bush won the Heisman. We 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 know Reggie Bush won the Heisman. Right. Yeah, we, we know USC won a national. We title. know the Fad Five made it to back to, to back to back Final Fours. So yeah, we we know Calipari made made it to some Final Fours with some yeah, and that won't change. Uh, that won't change. All right, one more phone call, and then we got to break and get to Bill King. Uh, this is an unnamed Arkansas fan who is in Oklahoma. Doesn't want his or her name going over the air. What's up, Arkansas fan? How are you? I'm good. No, I'm just an okay fan in Arkansas. Okay. But anyway. I'm not a big Calipari fan simply because of the rivalry, but who else would we want if we could get anybody? I didn't want Beard because of off-the-court issues. Wade did basically the same thing, but if you took him, you'd have a year of sanction. So I just had to resolve myself, who out there could we get if we had our pick? Calipari had to be it. So I, I appreciated the other things, and really it's not going to be costing a lot simply because we've got a friend who's donating, and that means that the NIL money can go to the other sports. Maybe this way actually benefit football because we won't be having to pony up a lot for NIL for Arkansas football and basketball. All right, well, maybe so. Maybe so, or, you know, I think they'll still be going after as many donations as possible, but maybe some of those get redirected. You're right. Good phone call there. Mitch Barnhart's Twitter account um, uh, says, uh, quote, we're appreciative of John Calipari leading our program for the last 15 years. Uh, a little bit of blah, blah, blah. We're grateful 
for his contributions. And we are working diligently to hire a proven, highly dedicated coach for their program there. So there's another form of communication coming uh, from the athletics director of Kentucky. Uh, John Calipari apparently is no longer the head coach of Kentucky basketball. So you can only imagine what's coming up next. Coming up next is Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio. So stay with us. This is halftime. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Parrott, and Phil Elson, the best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Riley Farm Dental at the entrance to Riley Farms provides every type of dental care and procedure for you and your family from general dentistry, braces, implants, and cosmetics. Dr. Spark. Parkman, Davis, and Farmer give all of their patients better lives with a better smile, more confident, and a comfortable experience every time. Riley Farm Dental, 5901 Riley Park Drive, Suite A, at the entrance to Riley Farms. Now offering same-day crowns. Call 226-3500 for an appointment or visit RileyFarmDental.com. At Southern Tire Mart, we look out for you and your vehicle. Come visit us for America's most trusted brands like Michelin Tires and top-of-the-line service. You can depend on Southern Tire Mart and Michelin Tires to keep you rolling. Come see us at Southern Tire Mart, just off I-540, exit 14 in Fort Smith, for Michelin Tires that fit your needs and service that cares for you like family. This is Chuck Fawcett with Chuck Fawcett Realty. When I have an HVAC problem or a plumbing problem, I call 782-8940. That's 782-8940. Blaylock Heating and Air. So to have a red truck rolling your way today, give us a call. That's Blaylock Heating and Air Conditioning for all of your heating, cooling, plumbing, and drain cleaning needs and great York Home products. It's just one number you need to know. That's 782-8940. Hello, this is Sebastian County Assessor Zach Johnson here to remind you to assess your personal property by May 31st to avoid late penalty. You can do this in person at one of our three locations, over the phone, or online by going to www.countyservice.net. I would also like to remind any current homeowners or individuals buying their homes on contract to contact our office and check on your eligibility for the Homestead Tax Credit. Contact us today to see if you qualify. The Homestead Tax Credit can save you up to $425 off of your tax bill. This ad, sponsored by Sebastian County Assessor and paid for by Amendment 7. Flu vaccines, both regular and high dose for seniors, are now available at Law's Drug Store in Fort Smith. Call 452-6116 to schedule your shot appointment. Usually there is no cost when covered by your insurance. Law's Drug has COVID vaccines, RSV vaccines for ages 60 plus. Pneumonia and tetanus shots are also available. Law's Drug Store, 6802 Rogers Avenue behind Outback Steakhouse. Law's Drug Store, open six days a week to safely care for you and your family. Arkansas Fuel Injection in Fort Smith has been providing quality work for all new and rebuilt diesel pumps and injectors for over 25 years. They are a certified diesel shop with a team of quality technicians that ensure the highest quality worksmanship and warranties all their work. They are open Monday through Friday 8 to 5 and has emergency service available 24 hours a day. For all your diesel pump, fuel injection, and parts need, stop by Arkansas Fuel Injection, 6300 South 29th Street, Fort Smith. Call them today at 1-800-817-7709. Arkansas fuel injection. Dozy Place has now been serving award-winning steaks for over 20 years. Celebrate your special birthday, holiday, person, or just because at Dozy Place. Start with delicious appetizers and your choice of drinks from the largest selection of wines, beer, and liquor in the River Valley. Dozy Place is open Tuesday through Thursday 5 till 9 and Friday and Saturday 5 till 10. Reservations are recommended, so call 784-9111. 784-9111 for Dozy Place. 422 North 3rd Street, Fort Smith. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Right 
Find halftime on 99.5 in Northwest Arkansas, 95.3 in Fort Smith in the River Valley, 96.3 in Hot Springs in Central Arkansas, 104.3 in Harrison and Mountain Home, and everywhere on HitThatLine.com. Join the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to the hosts. Here's Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Tuesday afternoon is a chance to talk with Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio, hosting 6 to 9 WNSR. He is the king of college football talk, although, Bill, I listened on Monday, and uh, there's a lot of college basketball talk on the show on Monday, maybe a little bit more than usually at the national championship game, and, of course, the story that we've been kicking around for, like, the entire last two days here. Um, John Calipari to Arkansas, what did you think? I was shocked about the same level as I was shocked when Nick Saban announced he was retiring. Now, I knew things weren't going well at Kentucky, relationship-wise, but they had agreed to another year, which would not have worked out. But I didn't see this coming. I did not see this coming. It makes sense now, in hindsight, for John, but I did not see this coming. And uh, this will be... You're right. We don't... Basketball doesn't get much time on our show. Probably talk more about basketball because of Coach Cal Monday than the entire year combined. Is um, we, we were talking a little bit earlier uh, about football school, basketball school, and, and all this. Arkansas is a basketball school now, huh? Well, what you're what you're bringing in is the best recruiter in America. He will sign the top class in America without even having to try. And he's going to have lots of resources, just like he had at Kentucky. The question is, guys, which coach are you getting? If you're getting the coach between 2010 and 2019, that's four Final Fours and a national championship, and that one team that was undefeated going into the semifinals. That was some outstanding basketball. At Kentucky, which is the biggest brand probably out there historically in basketball, If you're getting the one from 2000 to now, it's going to be a problem because he would sign all these players and they weren't coached. And not only that, but he has dead weight on his staff and he he didn't coach a lick of defense. I don't know which one you're getting. Maybe this move recharges his batteries. Maybe it doesn't. It feels like an invigoration more than anything because, I I mean, I don't know what it feels like to walk in front of a crowd of 24,000 people that are all wearing the same color that you're wearing and yet wonder if, (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you're all on the same side, but are these people really all behind me because of what's happened in the last few years? You know, even yeah. even the most jaded Razorback fan that has booed John Calipari to kingdom come over the last 12, 13 years is, 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 is at least interested in this to the point of excitement. So th- there is that. I mean, he's got a fan base really riled up in a positive way rather than a fan base that's just severely disappointed. If you get the John Calipari five years and prior, you are going to have a good time, Arkansas fans. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes there and does a good job. But he's a pretty hard-headed guy, and there's this theory that you can't win with signing the All-American team anymore. It's got to be veterans. I'm not sure that's true. I just don't think they were coached very well the last four to five years. And he did go out and get veterans. Antonio Reeves, the big 6'8 Mitchell kid from Pittsburgh, uh, Oscar Sigue, they got from West Virginia. It's not like everybody that got out on the court for them were true freshmen, but the true freshmen are the ones that always stand out. And, guys, I can promise you, he will go sign the top-ranked recruiting class, if not the second, but the top-ranked recruiting class in America, period. Phil, does Arkansas host Kentucky at all in Fayetteville? Does Calipari throw out the first pitch? Uh, Arkansas visits Kentucky visit. for baseball okay. this year. All right. Maybe All we right. can take him with us. Next, I don't know. But next year, I believe Arkansas is at Kentucky in Rupp Arena. Ooh, so. basketball. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. That's game day written all over it. I mean, that's going to oh be intense. 
<laughs> That's that'll have me watching basketball. Yes. Well, well, Bill. All right. So there's this this NIL fund that goes along with the salary coming from. John Tyson, the benefactor, I think is the right way to, to that's probably the right terminology yeah. with this is, is he is Cal's benefactor. Right. Um, it's, it's five or $6 million. I don't, I don't, I don't know which, which number to believe, but that comes out to maybe, you know, if you're looking at 10 or 11, it's like half a million dollars per player. Um, do you need a benefactor for football too? <laughs> you know, how much money do you need in the fund for football? Well, you can spend a lot of money on two guys in basketball and change the course of history, right? Football is way more complicated than that. You probably, if, if I'd say 10 to 15 million, if you're now that's who you're getting. If that means you're getting dudes, I'd say it's going to run you 10 to 15 million total, at least maybe more. I mean, because you've got two. you think about this guys, you've got two funds, even though it's one fund, you've got your current team that you have to continuously be dealing with when it comes to money, and then you have the new people, whether it's transfers in or recruits. That's that could be a big chunk, but I I would say it was about ten million. I think we're probably approaching fifteen plus now. If again, if you're getting dues. Well, now that's kind of where. Well, I mean, look, this isn't all about basketball right now, but NIL is an all-encompassing thing. The baseball team at Arkansas is in a really good place for NIL comparatively to the rest of the SEC, and that means the rest of college baseball. Obviously, now basketball is in a place where they might have the best NIL fund of any team in the SEC. Otherwise, I don't, I don't think you get Cal. Football's in a different place. It's just, it's just in a different place, and it's like you're saying, it's a different animal. Should we, you know, because the other two sports are in a good place with NIL, Shouldn't we expect that football can get there too? Yeah, but the football program's in a, in a geographical tough spot. And they haven't been getting dudes to the level that they need for quite some time now. Now, they get good players, but I'm talking about volume, right? I mean, you can't just try it out a couple of all-league guys. I'm talking about volume, and to date, they're not doing that. And that's, that's the difficulty there. I can also promise you one thing. Coach Cal would not have done this if he did not have full support from John Tyson. I don't care what the number is. You, you said five or six. I would assume the agreement is whatever I need, I get. doesn't matter what the number is. Yeah, well, it kind of has an Ole Miss feel to it. You know, they go out and get Kiffin, and they, yeah. they pour a lot of money into it, and that's what we're talking about all off season. and the pressure's going to be on. It kind of feels a little bit like that, that, you know, at the holiday yep. table, how you have the grown-up table and the, and the children's table, it's like, hey, man, we're, we're sitting at the head of the grown-up table. Well, I guess UConn's the head of the table right now, but we're, we, got, we, got a, we, got a, we got a seat there. Let me give you a quick stat. Arkansas football 95, maybe the most dominant team on paper. Now, maybe I think the Miami team of 01 was more gifted. But a 95-team average margin of victory, Dr. Tom's third to last year was 38.7 points, as dominant as you can ever imagine. UConn in the last two NCAA tournaments, 12 games, has averaged about 22-point differential in every game. This year, the six games, it was 24 points. Last year, it was 20. Guys, that's bananas. That's wild. That's lunacy is what that is. Well, and and a common denominator is Dan Hurley. Uh, Correct. Yeah. And he says he wants to create a modern times dynasty at UConn. Uh, they're in the right He's conference. He's doing it. Hey, he is doing it. They're <laughs> in the right conference. He's at a school where, like, the, the dichotomy between – basketball at UConn and football like they moved out of the American conference because it was destroying basketball and and they couldn't and, and they don't it, football didn't matter that much now they're an independent football team they don't make any television money it's just the the the, the, the difference between UConn football and basketball is 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 mind-blowing like you look at like Villanova right when they had Jay Wright and they're winning national championships that's a that's an FCS football program that's a different thing UConn is division one but one of two independents that's left, right? I think they're only one of two, and Notre Dame is the other. Yeah. And Notre Dame's got NBC, and the other one doesn't. <laughs> no UConn football network. No. Correct. Ne never will be. Um, 
All right, Bill, we'll leave it there. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, we'll be listening on WNSR, okay? Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, Bill. Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio. Dr. Tom, yep. He's right about that. Dr. Tom was the, uh, that you, that Nebraska team was about as dominant as it got. Tommy Frazier. Oh, yeah, Lawrence Phillips. Yeah, back-to-back. Was that Tom Osborne? That, mm-hmm. was, their, that was their guy. That's, uh, to me, that was the best. I mean, their offensive line and D-line. It He's was been just, there for, like, I think like 20 years by then, too. Yeah, he'd had those battles with OU go, going on and uh, with Barry Switzer, and then Barry's winning at, at, at Dallas. Yeah, that, that, was, a, that was a squad. Uh, Cal has a video on his Twitter account uh, that he had to repost. I guess the first video didn't have very high-quality video. It was grainy. It's not the way to say goodbye. Does this kind of feel a little bit like uh, when Spurrier went to South Carolina from Florida? I know he jumped. He he jumped to the to the pros for a couple of years, but and then Saban LSU to Alabama. I mean, it's just a, an absolute legend coming coming over to your. Is it similar to that? Maybe Urban Meyer going Florida to Ohio State. Now that that it, that's what it feels a little bit like. Um, but Arkansas is not Ohio State. But we're we're basketball though in the basketball landscape we're we're we might not have been we're right there though we're we're definitely yeah. tier two as far as if you're just if you're saying blue bloods we're that next group and then you went and got a blue blood coach I mean our Arkansas basketball is pretty pretty elite see with the and I agree with that too but if, if I'm looking I view like if Kentucky's going after Billy Donovan which I can't imagine they're not that's very much like the Urban Meyer story of going from. Florida for one back to back, which is what Donovan did there too, to going to the pros, to then going back to a blue blood, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Although with my with Urban Meyer, he did he 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 left Florida to retire for health reasons. A year later, takes Ohio State and wins the Natty there. Then goes to the NFL and it's, isn't coaching anymore. It's like our left tackle that said he 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 didn't want to he was entering the portal because he what health reasons or whatever he said and then it's uh are he stepping away? That's and, what coach Pittman said. Yeah, yeah. Stepping away, lost his love Chamberlain, for football. And then he's in the portal. Now he's in the yeah. portal cuz you know, maybe he might actually still want to play football. I don't know. 877-377-6963 calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Stay with us. We'll be back into the home stretch in just a moment. This is Halftime. You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Listen anytime and... This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned. Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play Stores. ESPN Arkansas. More than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, and our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the Fence Man was my first call. The Fence Man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the Fence Man does it. The Fence Man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. The dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakhalin. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouse. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakhalin, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. 
Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Bet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones, all he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network, go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash. Jump in the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 877-377-6963. Now, here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. Into the home stretch of halftime here. Calls and texts come in at 877-377-6963. That is our McClarty Daniel hotline. Cabbage Head is there right now. Hey, Cabbage Head, thanks for the call. How you doing? Hey, hey Phil, since you're the bumper music king, uh, I got two things. Since you you do such a good job on that bumper music, I'm going to see Toto Thursday in Tulsa. You ought to come go with us. I'd be up for a Toto concert. <laughs> I, I bet I bet with the the music you play, I, I figured you would be a fan of Toto. And there, we we got to support those guys because there ain't many of them that age touring anymore. You know, but those are those are real pros. I wanted to ask you guys, and what we're happy about our new coach and all, but don't you think we'll be able to? He'll be able to uh, immediately uh, recruit us some help to compete in that SEC because I I, I think that must uh, he this last year as sorry as that team was he just couldn't compete in the SEC didn't have any seven footers like he needed but don't you think? Uh, uh, call Paul, he'll he'll, uh, he'll be able to hit the ground running and get us some folks. I don't know about hit the ground running, Cabbage Head, but I do think that he can put a team together pretty quickly for you that can that can compete really well, uh, a, a roster that might make sense. Because I mean, that, when I look back at the roster this last year, maybe maybe it didn't make much sense. You didn't have a point guard, 
you know, a guy with a history of playing the position. You really had one big that could play like a big, and that's Makai. Jalen Graham was hurt the whole year. Brazil was hurt the whole year. Uh, well, part of part of the year. Brazil didn't play that kind of didn't, basketball either. Right, didn't really have a point guard. Had about three or four guards that could do the same thing. And then your your youth and Bayfall and Landon Blocker, I think, were going to be studs that can play in the SEC. But you don't have time to see an 18-year-old play against a 24-year-old. Those also wouldn't have been the kind of freshman that Calipari recruits to come to campus you know also part of Bayfall the was an all-american well all-american but but he's, uh, raw. No, you're, you're, he's raw your point is right because there are plenty of there are plenty of five-star kids he's gonna all, be Mac, good at mcdonald's me. all-americans that had trouble cracking the floor for kentucky too uh, the thing and that's why i was i was wondering if Bayfall got to keep his red shirt saying same with blocker if they played enough i know in football if you don't play enough snaps or something you're able to keep your red that's shirt one game it's it's just when basketball is a little Same different. With with the, football's treated differently than the others. Because <laughs> I'd be I'd be wanting Bayfall to 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 redshirt, but because you then he would be nineteen one whole year in the in the college system. Uh, same same with Blocker. Those kids are gonna be better in two years. They're gonna be better next year, man. They 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 really will be. This team will be better this next year too. I mean it it happens it it, it happens quickly. I just can't. It's a, it's a team that's going to make the NCAA tournament, right? Cal does not miss the tournament. There was the one year. There was the one year at Kentucky, but I thought that's like it. That I, is like it. I You're going to make the tournament. You're going to be in a position to have a nice run. You'll get a good seed. 20, 24, 24 regular season wins minimum, I, I would say. I could see him averaging around around that and have a chance to to win 28 games in the regular season. I mean, that's... That's a real team. You look at those three number ones, Houston, Purdue, and um, and UConn. Those were the three that kind of separated themselves, and and you could tell. I mean, their regular season totals uh, that they 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 got it done. Thirty two years as a head coach in major college basketball. Twenty three years in the NCAA tournament. All right, missed the first three years at UMass. Made the tournament the last five years. Missed the tournament the first two years at Memphis made the tournament every year after that with the exception of one. And then in Kentucky, there were two years missing the NCAA tournament um, out of uh, out of all the time he was there. Making the tournament obviously is not enough. And making the tournament at Arkansas is also not enough. It wasn't enough for Coach A, and it's not going to be enough for Calipari either. Matt in Springdale is on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Hey guys, thanks. Thanks for taking my call. Wanted to ask you a quick question. Um, I'm I'm super excited about Cal Cal Perry coming to Arkansas. I couldn't stand him at Kentucky. <laughs> watched him, watched Arkansas and Kentucky at Rupp Arena one time. Couldn't stand it, but man, my mood is changed now. I'm pretty excited about him coming to Arkansas. Um, are we certain that he's coming to Arkansas? I just saw a 4029 post come on come across my phone as I was listening to you guys that he released a video on X saying that he was leaving Kentucky and exploring his opportunity. Is there any chance that he doesn't come to Arkansas? Just wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Well, all right. So what other what other what other job is open right now? That's the only thing I could think of. What else is open right now? There is no other job that will pay the same or, or something that's close to it. There's no other job worth leaving Kentucky for it. I wouldn't, I, there's nothing to worry. There's nothing to see here. There is nothing to see here. Yeah. They're just uh, finalizing the details. He's, he's going to be the coach. He'll, he'll be, he'll be the coach of, of, of Arkansas. His, that blue tie changed to red. Canisius is open. I mean, be careful here. You, you don't want to get into a bidding war with Canisius. Eastern Washington has an open job right now. It's great. It's it's great this time of year. Indiana State is open right now. Hey, they just lost in the uh, the NIT championship game. So where did he go? That's there you go. He probably took a step up. Those those are the only jobs I know of that are open right now. Indiana State, Fresno State, Florida A and M, Eastern Washington, and Canisius. Yeah, I think he's going to come to Arkansas with those options if he's leaving Kentucky. I feel pretty confident about that. <laughs> I Hey, because he didn't say Arkansas in the video where he's saying goodbye. Get nervous about it, right? That's okay. Why are we so sure this is going to happen? Because 
everybody that uses three different sources before they report these things is telling us this is going to happen. That's why. The journalists, the serious ones, the adults in the room have told us that it is going to happen. That's that's why. Well, and and he won a national title though. Had a lot of success at Kentucky. You want to go you want to leave the right way even if there's a you, you don't want the relationships to be too messed up, but he's going to be He'll definitely be in the Kentucky Basketball Hall of Fame, all, all that stuff. They, they're they're going to have – he'll be – so even if he wins a national title uh, for, for the University of Arkansas, he's still going to be associated with Kentucky basketball. I mean, that would be that, – that, that's just the truth. It's just the same as um, Roy Williams did all, the, did all, that gr- all the great things at North Carolina. He'll still always be associated with Kansas. Mm-hmm. He'll always be associated with – not winning a national title at Kansas, probably that goes along with it, but along with that greatness too, you know, and that's exactly right. Your track record follows you wherever you go. That Kansas, uh, Kansas took one away from coach Cal. Uh, that, that was the Memphis team. They beat when Mario Chalmers hit that three, um, not necessarily Scotty Thurman S, but he got that high arc on it. You know, it was still a big time shot, probably the biggest shot he's ever, he ever made in his basketball career. Yeah, there is to be be hard pressed to find another big shot to be able to make that, that would win you a national title, and take what li- literally t- how much how much time was left in that game? Yeah, I I can't I'd be lying to you if I made I think it was less time than when than Scotty's three. Yeah, there wasn't much time left. Five seconds, was four the, seconds, something that like that. It, yeah. Well, that was to send it to overtime. That team, well, that Memphis team, if they could hit free throws, they'd have won. That that they were so athletic. They, I, I think, as a team, they they shot in the sixties and the percentage wise on the at the free throw line. They came through Little Rock uh, the first two rounds that year. I forget who it was they played, but they came through Little Rock as the number one seed in that in that uh, region. Texas came in too with Rick Barnes. Oregon was there, and Austin P. Uh, I can't remember the other schools that were there, but I remember sitting there. I sat there next to the Kentucky bench because UALR hosted. I was doing UALR women's basketball games. Then I was like, just whatever you need me to do. I ran box scores. So I, I, I chose to sit next to Memphis's bench because I wanted to watch Cal in action and watching him in action that close. Like I was sitting next to the bench, basically where Chuck will be sitting by Cal at Bud Walton arena right there, almost as if I was part of the radio crew, but in the tournament, you're on the other side uh, from the bench on the other side of the floor. Watching Cal was more entertaining than watching the games. With the, you know, slicking back his hair, the foot stomping, you know, the the screaming, the yelling, the facial contortions, the timeouts, everything. I enjoyed watching Muss coach the Razorbacks just because of his antics on the sideline. His line. energy, his passion. Cal is that times 10. And has a championship to go along with it, right? And has a little better resume. Yeah, and it also feels like, and I don't mean this as as a shot at Muss. Muss is a coach. He's, I think he is, he is just a coach. Um, Danielle was the woman about town, was the one that got involved with all these other things, and, and you know, Muss might tag along to this or that. Cal's a coach, and I know you want a coach, but he's also... I think he's going to get involved in a lot of other things that are going on in Northwest Arkansas and the state of Arkansas. And, and he's, uh, he, he seems to be the kind of person that can connect individually one-on-one with somebody. Do you, is his video. So he's just telling his team by, we just, we, we got the video. Y'all saw the video of him. Uh, Did you wh- study waving, the video? See you by. When his, his yeah. video to Arkansas fans, is it just him calling the hogs? It was not more of a video to Arkansas fans. It was. Well, I know I, I, the next one. See, oh, see yeah, buddy, yeah. Do you think he, when he comes out, he's just calling the hogs in the next one? I don't one? know if that's his personality. I would, we would all love to see him do that, but I just, I think Cal's kind of like a business it's all business with him. I don't think he's like absolutely thrilled to be leaving Kentucky. That's not what the vibe I got uh, from watching the video, but it just seemed like it was time. He he made it seem like the fans were basically like he wasn't enough for them anymore, basically, or the university. Something tells me there's like a country song in there somewhere, isn't there? One Direction, you gotta you gotta get a new voice. You gotta somebody. It's it's the same message, you know. And and it's, and it's like you brought this up in the first hour. Coach Cal hasn't forgot how to coach these last five years. Uh, sometimes you just gotta get a new voice. Uh, and, and 
that's what he said. He said a new we need uh Kentucky needs a new voice. That's exactly what he said. Well, he 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 wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna say that unless the right job came open to leave. This yeah. apparently is the right job that comes open to leave at the right time. We gotta leave too. We'll wrap up halftime right after this. Tommy Craft for the Fence Man. If you've always wanted powered automatic gates at your home or business, but you didn't know who to call, let me tell you about the Fence Man. 479-782-3936. The Fence Man does it all. Custom wrought iron installations, automatic gates, even controlled access systems, and lots more. Ask about 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit. For your custom fence and gate needs, call the Fence Man. 479-782-3936. The Fence Man. He ain't afraid of no work. The Wave Roar. Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. Are you tired of the overcrowded fitness centers? Would you like a fitness option where you can actually work out? Then let's hang out. The Hangout is Fort Smith's newest fitness facility. It has an 8,000 square foot gym, indoor tennis, pickleball, and basketball with more sports coming soon. The Hangout offers group and individual training in the gym and boasts three active tennis pros to help you grow your game. Stop in today at 5400 Gary Street or thehangoutfs.com for more information. Be a part of something different. Fitness, sports, and more. Let's hang out. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. That's why we work with you to design an auto, home, and life insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter is known for our award-winning customer service, satisfied customers, and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. See Agent Chris Dooley in Fort Smith. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your home, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. So sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. Summertime in Arkansas means pond and creek fishing, and nothing catches bass and bluegill in a pond like a rebel crick hopper. You can twitch it, pop it, walk it, and swim it. It's the ultralight fishing lure that looks and acts like a real grasshopper. The crick hopper works great in tandem with light spinning rods and reels with four or six pound fishing line. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle shops everywhere. The rebel crick hopper. Hi folks, Larry Rath here for Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where it's spring cleaning time. The lot is blooming with fresh road ready certified inventory and weekly specials that could save you up to $4,000. If you're keeping the car you have, let us take care of it for you in the Meineke Car Care Center with half off brakes and buy three, get one free on all tires. Better yet, trade today and save up to $4,000 during spring cleaning at Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where all the happiest drivers are rolling with Rath. Just north of Phoenix on Towson, Fort Smith. Arkansas football is back inside Razorback Stadium on Saturday, April 13th as they host the 2024 Red-White Spring Football Game. This free event kicks off at noon and gives you a chance to get a first-hand look at the new-look Razorbacks as they head into the 2024 season. Free family fun begins at 9 a.m. with Hogtown in Lot 44. That includes live music, a car show, pregame pep rally, and much more. Full details, visit ArkansasRazorbacks.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 953. <laughs> Back to 
Welcome back into Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Studios. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we make your dreams come true. Was it Dennis Leary that said his idea of hell was uh, being forced to listen to the Bay City Rollers over and over? Pretty sure he did say that. I um, thought that was another one from Starksy and Hutch, you know, the Bay City. Yeah. What was our theme for the music today? We've been going seventies lately. Uh, we get a, I, we got a good, good group with with C music and yourself, uh, and just kind of, kind of check it. I think yesterday was seventy three. Today was seventy six. So just kind of, maybe we'll do some, uh, some eighties, but only eighties Billy Joel tomorrow. I, I don't know what that's what's for, in the mood for. That's for B E. Yeah. Well, well, we're we're taking your requests, uh, and and blasting your favorite hits here on your hit music station. ESPN Arkansas and hit that line.com. There was a press conference with Sam Pittman today. We didn't mention a damn thing about it. <laughs> That's nuts. Would have usually said something about it. Here's one. Uh, the spring game Saturday, which I guess you can hear on ESPN Arkansas on Saturday. The uh, winning team of Saturday's spring game is rewarded with a big breakfast from Busy's, and the losing team will get cereal. Count me as one. Now, you know my thing with cereal. I, I might choose to be on the losing team that day, depending on what cereal we're getting. If we're eating Weetabix, I don't want to be on that team. If we're eating any other cereal, cornflakes, even the, the, the non-sugar stuff, I'm good with it. Give me two orders of the eggs and bacon. Give me, give me four eggs over easy and six slices of bacon, and then we'll, we're good. That's it. Maybe one little half biscuit and gravy, gravy on the side, but that's uh, – I guess a eggs re- and bacon all day. A real brunch is is enough to get you to want to win a spring game on Saturday. It'd be like one of those things. It's like uh, whenever uh, if I if I got if if I won at cards, my dad would take me for ice cream, and then he's like, "Well, what it would happen if you lost? He would still take me for ice cream." <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure both these teams. He it's it's not going to be like that. My fa- my grandmother used to used to make my dad lasagna if he ever hit a home run in baseball. You're like, "What'd you get for a base hit? Spaghetti and meatballs." Sure. What if if you didn't hit? They still ate. Right. It's not like we're getting <laughs> starved. That was, right. that was fun today. Yeah, it was good stuff. Um, no announcement yet about Coach Cal or a press conference or anything like that. But Ruskin and Zach are standing by. And if there is an announcement, they'll be the first to tell you. I thought maybe we would be. Nah, ain't us. Probably going to be them. Otherwise, we're back with you tomorrow for another award-winning edition of Halftime. For Matt, for the C-Unit, I'm Phil. Get up, get out, and get better.